Ujo Express Lite matamla kilomita zisa mubiri Sisi chukumi wabiri mutano Gia zitano USB charger And self starter Esi tulobu zidoma kilogramu bibiri Jewel gauge kore ya dala Jewel tank jamu lita zikumi na sato Uli kasoma angula chilabo Lite ya engine oil Lite ya mafuta Elementi Jacket Reflector Ne warranty ya mwaka mulamba Kwa usirani ya kulugodo ne pijibiji ya Ujo Tukusindi kila makanika na kuyamba ko Service ya wede no sangime kamocha masuga kobiru Jema TV Center Kasoe se chiri ka fuck The mistake of making stereotyped statements based on gender, race, tribes, religion, to fellow employees or even external customers. What is stereotyping? Stereotyping refers to the habit of entertaining the belief that individuals of a certain group have certain characteristics. The problem though is that many times these beliefs can be inaccurate dense promoting biases and discriminatory behaviors which turn away customers. Yeah. <laughs> the mistake of stereotyping at Skyline Coaches could have been caused by a knowledge gap where Fred was not well informed about the impact that personal compliments would make on a prospective woman investor from another culture. In fact, while Fred could have assumed that Alice needed some compliments, such as pleasant words about her fellow Southern Pacific women, Alice, on the other hand, must have expected Fred to relate to her as a potential business partner and not to mention his experiences of beautiful women during a business conversation. So, how about you? Do you just throw compliments left, right and center without asking yourself whether a customer will like them or not? If you compliment the customer today, will you be able to compliment him or her again tomorrow and every other day if you say that she or he is smart today and say nothing tomorrow what will the customer think how about when you go and leave will those she or he finds in your place be able to shower her with those compliments that she or he routinely receives from you and those customers who hear you complimenting that person how will they feel did you know that excessively complimenting customers of the opposite sex in the workplace can actually make one come across as loose tanked chauvinistic, and one that views women as sex objects? My advice to you is, unless the nature of your business requires you to know some personal information about customers, do not request for a customer's biodata. Statements based on gender, race, tribes, religion, and the like should never be made to either internal or external customers. Stereotyped messages alienate customers and therefore could cause them to shift to those organizations that are ready to make such customers feel accepted for who they are. So, do not chase away customers. At Timex Nutrition Center, we advise you on the right foods to eat, exercise profile to adopt, and lifestyle strategies which are compatible to your blood group and genotype. This empowers your body to prevent and treat many diseases like diabetes, blood pressure, arthritis, ulcers, obesity, and many others. For more information, find us at our head office in Kampala on NASA Road, Conrad Plaza, second floor, or call 0758-819-952 or 0778-288-361. We also have other branches in Bara and Jinja.
A very good evening. Thank you so much for watching UBC TV Inspiring Uganda. And welcome to UBC News tonight with me, Sharon Chondisha. In our top stories of the day, President Yuri Museveni last evening received the visiting U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, His Excellency Linda Thomas Greenfield, who called on him at State House in Tebe. Ambassador Greenfield, who is an African tour, is on an African tour, a big pardon of three African countries, started here, started her visit in Uganda, where she held fruitful discussions with her host, President Museveni, on regional and security matters. She extended warm greetings from President Biden to President Museveni, who she acknowledged as a pillar of stability in the region. On the issue of food security in the country, President Museveni informed his guests that food is available in Uganda, noting, however, that the high cost of fuel affects the transportation of food to the markets, thus driving prices up. The President therefore appealed to the U.S. to consider separating African countries, including Uganda, from the sanctions because the high cost of fuel is affecting the prices of commodities due to high transportation charges. On regional security, President Museveni told his guests that Uganda's position is that case, um, case of insecurity can easily be solved through dialogue by all parties involved, especially where there's willingness to talk. Ambassador Greenfield was accompanied by the U.S. Ambassador to Uganda, His Ex High Excellence, uh, Natalie Brown. And about the situation in Uganda. In more stories about the president, still he has strongly urged criminal investigation department police officers in the country to carry out their duties diligently without any diversions characterized by corruption and lack of patriotism. The president made the remarks while closing a six-week leadership and ideological course attended by over 50 senior regional CID officers and heads of department in the country police force at Kasenyi. The departments are that of economics, cyber media, cyber and media, and transnational crimes. Others include narcotics, local government, economic and financial intelligence, land protection, and homicide. President Museveni took participants of the course that was all talked to the participants of the course um, that attended, including senior lady police officers, through the justice practiced in the traditional African society before and after colonialism, where there was and still is no room for impunity. The president therefore challenged the police CID officers to enable the people of Uganda to maintain faith in them as their defenders. The political commissar, Special Forces Command, Colonel Gilbert Oamajezi, said the course is aimed at equipping officers with tools of analysis in their work and also enable participants to transform themselves. The director of CID, Dr. AIGP Tom Magambo, said the course will be rolled out to benefit junior officers in the force. The coordinator of the course, Brigadier Charity by Nababo, said the course was for the empowerment of the senior police CID officers. and other civil lead agencies. Our method of objective included the following. Meaning to work for the Kaumu presidential administration. Security, geopolitics, evolution of man, and the laws that govern. In more news, security operatives in Palisade District have condemned the acts of hooliganism exhibited by the opposition in the Gorgonio County parliamentary by-elections preparations. This warning follows complaints from the NRM party camp, which claims that their campaign trail is being interrupted by their opponents. Take a look. Mm -hmm. 
Candidates participating in Gogonyo County parliamentary by election continue conversing for votes among the electorates. The NRM's party candidate, Derek Oron, has now entered his second day of the campaign trail. He has spent the entire day engaging voters in Obtet Sub County. However, Oroni's campaign trail continues on the other hand acting as fun factory for the supporters as the candidate enjoys having a backup run from the entertainment industry. <laughs> Besides campaigning, the NRM camp is also carrying on civic education for the voters in this area. Don't think in Oroni's picture that ballot paper will be invalid. Don't think in the bus. We have always lost so many ballot papers counted invalid simply because our people either showed too much love for the candidate and ticked more than once in the, bar in the space provided. Others have ticked uh, in the photograph of the candidate. Others, because they love NRM, they have ticked in the buses. And the presiding officers consider these ballot papers as being invalid. Uh, so what we are trying to do now is to educate our people. We may give them all the messages they want. Yes, we shall. But the most important thing is they must know how to vote. Starting this Saturday, the NRM party machineries will start heading to the district to canvass for votes for their party candidates. But one thing I can guarantee is that the national chairman of the party and the president of this country, General Ewell Kakutam Seven, will be here on the 9th and is going to campaign for non, not anybody else but Oron Derrick, the flag bearer of NRM. Oron Derrick will continue with his campaign trail this Saturday in the sub-counties of Apopong and Kaukra. They are planting nails along the road, which is not the right thing. This is a democracy. Every candidate is allowed to move from village to village. We have uh, some individuals who are planting these nails and whatever. That's why I'm uh, in the field today talking to them to make sure that we have a peaceful election. We, shall not, we, are, we are not arresting now, but we are engaging them. I'm Robert Nyango for UBC News. Well, the Gogonya by-election will be happening on the 9th and UBC TV will be keeping you updated on the results and the winner. Moving on from that, the, the Minister for Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Matia Kasaija, has advised the National Lotteries and Gaming Le Regulatory Board, I beg your pardon, to restrain the underage from engaging in gambling. Kasaija made the remarks during his work visit of the board's headquarters in Kampala to assess its performance and impact on the country's economy. We have a detailed report. The planning and economic development, Matia Kasaija, has advised the National Lotteries and Gaming Regulatory Board to guard against the underage engaging in gambling activities. <laughs> we will allow you to, to, to compete uh, with the other people, uh, but in a responsible manner, so that it, you don't become addicted. Matia Kasaidia was on a working tour of the National Lotteries and Gaming Regulatory Board head office in Kampala. He also advised against addiction to lottery activities by members of the public. The minister's visit was premised on assessing the lottery's regulatory body's performance and its impact on the economy and requested that they closely regulate participation of the underage in the sector and addiction among a number of the public. Do not ban this sector because it has adverse effects. Look at these sectors. I would call it the alcohol sector or even the people who smoke. Betting is addictive and can be psychologically harmful. Uh, and therefore, as a gaming board, we are making an effort to, one, uh, sensitize the public about the dangers of uh, gaming. 
We have uh, started sensitization in targeted places. Targeted places, I mean, uh, for example, we've started with uh, higher institutions of learning. The Chief Executive Officer, National Lotteries and Gaming Regulatory Body, Dens Modena, said that even with the efforts to regulate the activities, they still face challenges that include gaming and local defaulters. If you have seen these small machines where people uh, throw coins, they have spread all over the country. And as a gaming board, we are really understaffed. Out of uh, the 51 staff that we're supposed to have, uh, we are 34. And uh, we are unable to traverse the country and uh, ensure that we effectively regulate the sector. Even when many Ugandans below the age of 18 engage in lottery, casino and other gaming activities, the regulator board emphasizes that gaming is only legally meant for 25-year-olds and above. It is only those who have the right age, who are 25 years and above, that do gaming. And when they do gaming, what belongs to Caesar goes to Caesar. The National Lottery and Gaming Regulatory Board pledges to harmonize the operations of the sector for public satisfaction, especially with the amendment of the 2016 Act. It was made in 2016. The sector we are dealing with is very dynamic. There are so many changes and so many demands. The, the purpose, of the spirit behind revising is to make sure that this is a law that will help us regulate properly. That will also help business to be done in a more uh, coherent way. Minister Kasai allowed the regulatory board for boosting revenue collections within the sector. They started with little money, 18 billion, 25, and uh, if it hadn't been for COVID, they even now now they have gone to 100 and, uh, and 10 billion money they collected for the treasury. I'm Ivan Juko for UBC News. Now, the Director of Basic and Secondary Education at the Ministry of Education and Sports, Hajj Ismail Mulindwa, has expressed the need for fixing the mindset of parents of children with special needs in order for them to benefit from inclusive education. Hajj Mulindwa made the remarks at the Policymakers Conference organized by Tunaweza Foundation and the U.S. Mission to Uganda. Sudat Kai reports. Stakeholders have gathered in Kampala to discuss how they are currently using inclusive practices to include children with special needs in the education sector. The Director, Basic and Secondary Education at the Ministry of Education and Sports, Haj Ismail Mulindwa, says there is need for active participation and empowering children with special needs in school programs. Well, we still have parents who think if you have a child with special needs, that's a second class kind of child, and therefore you should not even bother cater for, for him or her. So that's what now the police is coming out to, to partly address the mindset issue. So that our parents are properly guided and know what to do and where to take their children. And also uh, strengthen the inclusiveness in all what we do. Dr. Christina Zakaria, an inclusive specialist from Fulbright Scholars, Virginia, in the U.S., expresses the need for legislators to bring policies of inclusive education for more discussions. We as policy change that all students, regardless of their disability, get to come to school uh, with their non-disabled peers. Um, they also get access to their least restrictive environment. Um, we have individualized education plans, so IEPs for all of our students um, that are based off of assessment and evaluation. Um, and, you know, that really drives the individual growth. Executive Director to Naweza Foundation, Victoria Narule, says there is need for more residential special schools to uplift educational standards, especially for learners that cannot be in class on a daily basis. To see that these students with disability, they can start from the young age to mix up with other people living without, without disability, that we are all on the, same, on the same page, really. So it is very, very, very important to train uh, young children with disabilities, you know, because in the long run, if I was not educated, if I didn't go to university, right now I could be maybe among the people who are begging. Policy makers highlighted challenges that need redress for schools and children with special needs. And when they continue receiving funding, I know they will expand. 
to the whole Uganda because as of now they are mostly in the central region here yet many more disabled learners are out there in the in up country mentoring students with disabilities from universities to help others was also highlighted as key so that Kaye, UBC News. Thank you so much, Sudet Kaye. Moving on, the judiciary is to conduct special hearing sessions of sexual and gender-based violence cases in 13 districts of Uganda by the end of August of this year. Now, this follows increased number of sexual and gender-based violence cases in the past two years of COVID-19, which are at 33,906 cases as per the annual crime and traffic safety report 2021 released by Uganda Police Force on the 18th of May 2022. This was communicated by the principal judge, Dr. Flavian Zaja, um, in a meeting with other stakeholders in the fight against uh, sexual, gender, sexual and gender-based violence held here in Kampala. Ahead of phase five of the special session scheduled to handle sexual and gender-based violence cases, the judiciary together with other stakeholders, including Uganda Prison Service and Uganda Police Force, among others, have had an engagement to devise means on how these cases will be handled. The sessions that will begin on the 15th of August 2022 will focus on reducing on the increased number of case backlog of sexual and gender-based violence. The principal judge, Dr. Flavia Nzeija, says there is need to increase on the funding so that sexual and gender-based cases are heard expeditiously. We cost uh, each individual case. Now, that costing cascades into the number of cases we, we, we try to handle for a session. So normally in a session, we handle 50 cases. So, and uh, that translates into about 50, 50 million. Now, of course, these funds, uh, UNFPA supports us, but they, they did not bring all funds that they go. Nzeja also said protection of witness is key, thus appealing for creation of witness protection centers to ease on the service delivery of the judiciary. If, especially if they are like in a home, let's say a father or, or, or cousin has defiled and they, 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 maybe they, the family wants to, to, to keep that thing under, under the, the carpet. Now, you need that victim to be picked out of that home and put that victim in a shelter. If someone is in a boy is staying in a, a rented premise and she's raped there, now by the time you, you call the case after five years, that person may have moved from Baise and may be relocated to Ruzira. Assistant Commissioner of Police, Senior Superintendent Andrew Mobiru, appealed to the judiciary to limit on the frequent adjournments of cases, saying that it affects their service delivery. Because there is a cost incurred in bringing witnesses to court, making sure the experts and the investigators come to court. So every time there is an adjournment means that you have to reschedule this personnel away from their duties to come and attend to the court. So that is a cost in time and a cost on resources. Edison Muhwezi, the country representative UNFPA, urged various stakeholders in the fight against sexual gender-based violence to create programs that facilitate affordable justice, especially in such cases of SGBV. And for us, lay people, we have already seen it. We didn't know that some districts actually will ever get like chief magistrates. But when they were reading those that swear the access to justice, we can see it real for the first time. And this will facilitate access to justice, hold perpetrators accountable and contribute to any impunity. The NFPA commits to work jointly with all stakeholders, provide support, and contribute strengthening capacity for SGB prevention and response, including access to justice. Ten high court sessions will be conducted in different areas of Toro, Bushenyi, Chitoguman, Kotido, among others, for hearing of the special sessions of phase five of sexual and gender-based violence. Nathan Rebecca, Nama Monde Deborah, UBC News. Macquarie University Business School needs more funding to facilitate efforts aimed at ensuring inclusive education. Apart from specialized learning facilities, oftentimes students with special needs require a professional assistant on a daily basis. And as we hear in the following story, MOBS is already paying a handful of staff members to render the much-needed special care to students living with disabilities, a service that is unfortunately threatened by limited resources. 
Offering inclusive education and catering for students with disabilities is not a walk in the park, although institutions like Makere University Business School are trying. If you have a blind person, this blind person must come to, off, must come to study, must go back to their rooms, must cook food. Now imagine a blind person as a single boy in a room. What will happen to that person? So we realize that these people need assistance, so we are, we are recruiting people, staff, to take care of them. Professor Waswabalunywa was addressing stakeholders at Makere University Business School's Disability Awareness Day event. I have an impairment. They need some time to learn into the, to learn into the system. They will get the phone and then they get the so by the time someone is struggling to see, the question has moved. So many of them ended up uh, saving. Aware of the likely increased demand, Light for the World Country Director Kasozi Sylvester echoes the need for institutions of higher learning to introduce a course for professional assistance. Most of the personal assistance has been rendered based on, on technical know -how. You are my friend, you are my relative. The problem with this is that it is not, uh, it is not uh, sust sustainable. Uh, professional assistants come in to help people with disabilities to be able to go about their daily lives in a dignified and respectable way. Help me move around, yes, but if I also have an assignment on a computer, you should be able to help me maybe prepare my PowerPoint in a way that is uh, uh, decent. Vital as it is, Inadequate resources envelope stands in the way of MOB's intentions to acquire latest technologies and softwares. More money should be allocated so that we cater for people with special needs because their requirements are damn expensive. You've had the software is about 7 million and the other software is about 300,000. So government must come up and... Uh, give us money to look after these students. Nevertheless, there is need for other institutions, academic or otherwise, to borrow a leaf from Makere University Business School as regards to hiring professional assistants for persons living with disabilities. According to records, public financing for special needs education accounts for only 0.1% of the education sector budget and this is for primary and secondary education. This correlates with the assertion that disability is one of the limitations to higher education in Uganda. Dokas Kimono, UBC News. Now please note that President Jerry Museveni will be speaking to us any time from now, but we'll still continue with UBC News tonight as we wait on him. In more stories, Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development has committed to pilot awareness on energy efficiency and electric mobility for proper exploitation of natural resources. While launching the 18th Energy and Mineral Week 2022, State Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Okasai Sidionas Opolot, uh, reiterated on some gaps affecting the sector appreciation. The 18th Energy and Mineral Week will begin on the 31st of October to the 5th of November 2022 and will comprise of different activities in line with the National Development Plan 3. Yes! So during this week, the Ministry has planned a whole range of activities and each of these activities has been thought through. It's bespoke meant to inform our strategies and plan. Uh, we'll have stakeholders in the energy, petroleum, and minerals space showcase their products, services, and technologies to the general public. And uh, the aim of this is to promote our local content policy. The Energy Ministry commits to pilot sensitization on the energy efficiency and how the public can embrace subsidized tariffs, especially for cooking and production. Fertilizers, I can create the pipes, I can create pesticides, and when you look across the other way, maybe even human beings. Look at how we can sustainably mine clean energy and the fossil energy to cause the desired transformation of our country.
German Development Agency GIZ as the main sectoral partner recommends an integrated development of energy and mineral sector with the keen consideration of the climate change. Um, by extension also we're talking about uh, sustainability within the energy sector and that's why we're talking about climate also coming into play because you know both energy and climate is, um, as we speak now, um, most of the, 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 the topics that are mentioned um, globally in the global discussions is all about energy and climate. The theme for the 18th Energy and Mineral Week of 2022 is Energy for Sustainable Industrialization and Economic Recovery. Abdul Nasir Lubwama, UBC News. Uganda is on the move to digitize data science and transform technological advancements through internet penetration interventions. The launch of Data Science Africa Uganda chapter will see the country spur internet penetration and also empower Uganda to manage data science. The launch of Data Science Africa Uganda chapter is set to improve data science in areas of artificial intelligence, Internet of Things and innovation space in Uganda. Uh, we aim at building um, the capacity of Africans into uh, the skills of, of data science. So uh, data science covers a very big area, looks at how data is collected, how it's analyzed, it looks at building models, which could be artificial intelligence models, uh, machine learning models. You've heard of deep learning, you know. All that is actually uh, encompassed in, in, data, in data science. Data science and machine learning, we are trying to understand the data, to make sense out of that data, and be able to use that and inform policy, because the government has really been pushing uh, for data-driven decision-making. The chairperson on Data Science Africa, Uganda chapter Martin Gordon Mubangizi, notes that the move will give Uganda the ability to own data science and help in partnering in the implementation of government development programs. The whole idea would be that um, to support government programs. Uh, for example, the National Development Plan 3 already has um, highlighted some skills gap in data science. You know, machine learning expert, experts business intelligence. So our, the idea is that, I mean, we're not going to be part of government, I would say, but we're going to support government from um, outside government, basically. The executive director Nita Uganda, Dr. Mugisha Hatwib, emphasizes the need for digitization of identification data for Ugandans, noting that government is surely moving in that direction. So we're trying to make the ID even more functional. Uh, if you're going to uh, not the card itself, but the uh, facility of the ID, national ID. If you get a national ID, can you also apply for or register your land title automatically or digitally using your NIN? Can you apply for admission to a university just by using your NIN? So those are the functions that a national ID can do in this new future. So we're trying to extend that functionality to even other sectors. The functionality of the national ID should be utilized by even other sectors. They should not stay in NIRA. Professor Tony Oyana, the principal of Macquarie University College of Computing and Information Sciences, notes that there is need to localize data science for the benefit of all Ugandans. Universities and the higher education institutions in Uganda are what we call early adapters of this technology. And the way we have been treating it is training students doing research in the area but by training students then we are spreading the knowledge in the country the gap is really having a wider community in this area and i think this initiative that has been launched today will help in terms of further advancing data science in the country sada mubale ubc news kampala Thank you so much, Saddam Mubali. In more news, the Minister of Finance and Economic Development has pledged more support to the implementation of the National Payment System Act of 2022 to facilitate Uganda's dream of having a cashless economy. Now, the Minister of State for Finance in charge of general duties, Henry Musasizi, points out that this will hasten the country's financial inclusion strategy. Details follow. 
while launching smart teller machines for Post Bank Uganda, a state-owned financial institution, the Minister of State for Finance in charge of general duties, Henry Musasizi, emphasized that government will implement policy regimes aimed at facilitating Uganda's dream to achieve cashless economy. One of such laws is the Payment System Act of 2020 that aims at promoting the safety and efficiency of payment systems in Uganda. Cashless payments registered significant growth and this was mainly because of the increase in volumes of internet and mobile, man mobile banking platforms. When these platforms are attractively complemented by the new smart ATMs mechanism, I'm confident that the journey towards achieving a cash-free economy is firmly on the track. According to the Post Bank, emphasis will now be put on transforming the lives of the rural population by supporting agriculture. Are what you call smart ATMs. Um, they will enable instant deposits. If you deposit on your account, your account, you get the credit instantly. It's not later, it's not an envelope. Uh, you get a receipt, it shows you the different notes that you deposited and this money goes to your account immediately. The smart ATMs can make daily instant cash deposits of up to 30 million shillings and cardless cash withdrawals where clients can access money by using codes. ATMs that we procure are what you call smart ATMs. Um, they will enable instant deposits. If you deposit on your account, your account, you get the credit instantly. It's not later, it's not an envelope. Uh, you get a receipt, it shows you the different notes that you deposited, and this money goes to your account immediately. As digitization takes shape in the country, the population has been advised to be conscious enough in order not to fall victims of financial crime offenders who take advantage of cyberspace. We have all the databases, the networks, we have the people who are good at cybercrime, protection in terms of monitoring and making sure that the customer deposits are protected. Joseph Muingo compiled the story. The traditional physical plan of Ugandan cities and towns has been identified as an obstacle for the modern multimodal transport systems. An expert from Macquarie University School of Public Health believes that the existing city's infrastructure calls for immediate alterations to facilitate transition from paratransit to mass transit transport system. Take a look. The National Road Safety and Mobility Symposium of 2022 by Makerere University School of Public Health centered on how to achieve multimodality transport systems that work for all. And so that through those discussions with multiple sectors, multiple disciplines, we can build a consensus around how the country can have, uh, can indeed have inclusive, safe uh, public transport. Kampala, like many African cities, it is largely comprised of paratransit system of movement for connectivity opportunities. This system of transport is individualistic with a limited government control. The African Development Bank is going to work on 70 kilometers in the city. These roads are going to be upgraded, complete with the facilities for the disabilities, lead to street lights, uh, pedestrians, I mean, all the... Makere University School of Public Health recommends a fundamental infrastructure reshape in major towns and cities to attract innovations in the transport sector. If you go the radical way and you begin by saying you don't want to see the, 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 the border borders, you don't want to see those type of transport minibuses, you want only paratransit, then you must be able in policy and in strategy to have the entire Kampala connected with bus rapid routes. So the growth of Uganda's informal transport is organic and market-led solution. Hence calls for drafting of proper legislation to provide hope to transport commuters. Or we provide, um, we provide audio signals where there are traffic lights so that when a traffic light says pedestrians should not cross the road, there should be something that tells a, bl uh, uh, um, a blind person that the traffic light is red for you, don't cross. So there are ways, there are some are technologies that allow people to, to provide this accessibility to the system. 
to ensure safety on roads. There is need for inclusive strategy to enable access and attract more innovations in the transport sector. Abdul Nasir Lugama, UBC News. Thank you so much, Abdul Nasir Lugama. We'll take a short commercial break and we'll be back with more stories in business, international news and sports news. Fimba! Ni imtien kabode super as you pay mpola mpola for this smartphone. Make calls, update your WhatsApp status, watch YouTube and Google anything under the sun with 2 GB worth of data every month for 7 months. Simply make a small deposit of 99k and pay the balance mpola mpola. You can pay in daily, weekly or even monthly installments while you enjoy your new phone. So what are you doing today? Visit any MTN shop near you and get the MTN cupboard the super easy easy. At Timex Nutrition... Well, like Harley has said, uh, the president of Uganda is about to address the nation. Stay tuned. Good evening, countrymen and countrywomen. Again, I'm coming here uh, to share with you uh, the issue of, on the issue of the imported inflation. Imported high prices. Because that is what we are suffering from these high prices originate from outside and what are they what 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 are the items that cause them number one as we talked the other day is a few, what they call fuel in their in the enlightened uh, elite language but by which we the ordinary people we call petrol amafta this is the one of the major causes of the inflation then fertilizers are also a cause of uh, inflation then palm oil palm oil, butto, and then wheat. You people who eat bread, not me, but you bread eaters, you, 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 you get a problem of wheat. Now, all these are imported. But the biggest, the other three are expensive for separate reason fertilizer this is because of the sanctions on russia uh, palm oil it is because of the behavior of uh, indonesia and uh, malaysia who are producing this palm oil uh, wheat again it is ukraine ukraine and russia but i hear that the price of wheat is now coming down because of the, they have negotiated, they have negotiated uh, uh, some ships to come, to come out of the Black Sea. 
I've uh, been told that it's beginning to come down. Now, these are, have gone up because of the uh, 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 specific reasons, each one. But fuel, as I told you last time, I'm after petrol, went up, first of all, because I'm after I go to the motor car, but I go to Miaka Vidi. I'm sure Uganda will feel no. I'm going to go to the Union of Lungi, a Kasongaku. To Miaka Vidi, I see a Salao, I see you now. Your Salao, I'm after I go to the motor car. Bagenda Kugawera. In 20 years' time, pe, uh, petroleum and diesel for use in, in cars will no longer be allowed globally. So, because of that, the business people have abandoned investing in, in petrol. And that's why we are lucky. We, who had already discovered our petrol, which will, which, will, which, will, which will come out by 2025, we shall get a lot of money. Or the, or sunset, sunset money. Uh -huh. If you knew Nyankore, I would tell you, the, the sunlight, when the, when the sun is about to disappear, which the housemaids miss because they are working in the house. They are working in the house, <laughs> so they can't enjoy that, 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 that sunset warmth. For us, we are going to enjoy that money because all other people are no longer looking for the, for the, for the petrol because they know that in 20 years' time, it will no longer be used. People will have moved to the electric cars. They will have moved to the electric cars. But, but, but because of the gap between now and then, the price has gone up for, for the little mofta which is there for the little petroleum which, which, which is available now. And ours will, will benefit from that. Now, that factor, the one of Amafta Kuvaku Mulembe, petroleum getting out of, of fashion, had already pushed, pushed up the petroleum price to $80. When the war in Ukraine came in, it went to 100 and something, I hear. So even if the war ends, the, that MAFTA will, will still remain at, may, may remain at, at the other level, the, the one of, of, of 80. So therefore you can see, now because of the, of, of the petroleum, Amatoko Gamunago, Katigalinye, the, the, the high price of petroleum has now affected my matoke, my matoke from Tungamu. Zoa matoke, the name of Mamma, Kwanga, Tuna Sukrofi, Tetuva Sera, Timutia, and Avanan Tungamu, what and Sok Sera. Ah, a motoka. Is it right, a matoka gaff again Tungamu? It is the fuel, it is the fuel, it is the fuel. Don't, 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 uh, don't cast with the banana growers. Don't cast the, the wachiga who are growing the uh, Irish potatoes. Don't cast the people who are, who, are, who, are, who are selling milk. It is the it is the it is the fuel and the transport. Because of the transport, uh -huh. so that's why 
you will hear our answers. We have got answers for all this. Ho however, all this, you, you see, the, some people think that politics is just talking, talking, and, and, uh, and going to, 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 to weddings, and going to, to funerals. From the beginning, NLM told you that politics is a matter of life and death. If you handle politics badly, you will end up with bad results. You remember, uh, for the young people, they, they were not there, but for the old ones, when the NRM came from the bush, 1986, we had 10 points. And point number five was saying, please abandon this colonial and neo-colonial economy of Uganda and of Africa, mark those words, colonial and neo-colonial economy of Uganda and Africa, of Oksaka, Oksaka Enyo, eh. Oksaka. Importing, 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 importing. That's why the uh, point number five of the NLM 10 points was, was saying we are, we are going to build an economy which is integrated, independent, and self-sustaining. And we have done, we have moved. I, I will show you how we have moved. You should, audit, you should audit it, how we have moved. Build an economy which is independent. It minimize Oksaka, minimize buying from outside. Now you, ha you, you can see that we have Oksaka <laughs> inflation. This is all Oksaka. All this inf inflation is Oksaka. Uh, importing problems. Now the, the, the colonial economy at independence and up to 1970, when it broke down completely because of Idi Amin, the description of that small colonial economy was the economy of the three C's and the three T's. Three C's meaning economy of, of coffee, of cotton, and copper. These were the three C's. The three T's were tobacco, tourism, and tea. Now, this, this was, these were good, but the problem is that they were being exported as raw materials. They were being exported as raw materials. I remember 19, I think it was 1969, when we had a record export of cotton of 480,000 bales of cotton, almost half a million bales. And we were, they were very proud, they were putting it in the papers. We have exported more cotton. But this is where the problem is. When you, you export raw material, you get less money than if you are to make a final product out of that raw material. And we have told you here, we told you here the other time that when you, when you export and process coffee, you get one dollar, the one who processes, in some cases, gets even $50. I think we talked of $53 here. You can imagine. We, the coffee growers, are getting $1. The one who has nothing to do, who, 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 who doesn't suffer for producing coffee, is getting $50 from the same kilo for which I get one dollar. 
That's why we told you the other time that the, the business of coffee in the whole world is $460 billion. But the coffee growing countries of the world get only $25 billion out of the $460 billion. And Africa gets only $2.5 billion. So these three C's and three T's we are mainly being exported as raw material. And processed coffee uh, as cassé. You can remember cassé came in 1949 because of the struggle of our elder, of our elder I.K. Musazi. He's the one who resisted because before that, <laughs> the Africans were selling as what they call chivoko. With, with, with husks. So, so I came, says our, our elder, struggled, they, 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 they struggled and they were, they were allowed to remove the husks, the, the husking, to produce what they call cassé. Now, this is the one we are still selling now. And we are getting 150th of the value. Of, of what the other person gets. So the three C's were all uh, 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 co co coffee exported as cassé, cotton exported as lint. <laughs> we even had an organization called Lint Marketing Board. Uh -huh. They were not ashamed to say we are, we are exporters of lint to Rivano. <laughs> They were very proud. Rint Marketing Board. It had a manager. I think he was called a uh, very, very important manager. I've forgotten his name. The, the, the big black uh, fellow. Intende. I think he was called Intende. Ntituliwano, yeah. Avatunda, Pamba, Amazok Susuriwa. Why don't you get the, the shirt I'm putting your countryman is Ugandan shirt. That's why I don't put it off. Even when I go to international conferences, ah, I end up going to one of the This this shirt is made by this group here, fine spinners. It is 35% cotton, 65% uh, what do you call it? Polyester. Yeah. We are still importing the polyester. It is the other way around. Huh? Somebody is saying it is the other way around. Some, that it is more cotton than whatever it is. But anyway, in a few years' time, we shall, we shall also be making the polyester here. From, from our petroleum. Now, the, the copper was being exported as blister copper, not fully processed. And that's why it could not be used in the cables industry. You can imagine, we had the cables industry here in Rugazi of, uh, of, of Meta. He, he needed copper, but he couldn't use the copper of Chirembe because it was not fully processed. It had first to go away through Mombasa as blister copper, 94% pure, yet Rugazi needs 99.9% pure. So Meta would import p more purified copper from uh, I don't know where, then this one would just go. Uh, and of course we would get less money. For, for that, so and we'll pay more money for the other one, for the other uh, e e e imported cotton. So, but this kalitro economy, this small economy of producing raw materials during Yamin's time collapsed completely. And when we came, only, 
on, on, on the coffee was still surviving and a little bit of tobacco. Tea had shrunk from 23 million kilograms a year to only 3 million kilograms. So we came in. We came in to revive the, the other small island economy, enclave economy of the three seas, three teas, expand it, but also transform it, transform it. Transform the economy of Uganda from Osaka to Banyankoro will say okwe marira, self-sufficiency, self-sufficiency, and okutunda nafe, okutunda, to sell more abroad, and also sell processed goods. Akafana nyinga, akafa ventunga mwoketusobo lukuleta, Karingo muntu asara wo ntiye umulimo gwe kwe kulima no kutunda embide na koma ku mbide alima na tunde embide umularo mugezi ya no kusogola umbisi no kujja mu mwenge no kongera mukali akalala kali akufumba fumba mu naje mukali akalala kasinga wo akawaragi <laughs> kati olabawo obutalengera eh ntinze tumuzanyira ko nzo gwange kutuna mabide kyokka no no kirangirira no kiteka mu gazette nto gwange gwa mabide Kurachi toja mu mubisi, toso gula mubisi, kurachi toko la muengi, kurachi tofumba kawaragi. Kubanga burichoko, burichoko yonga lako, ufuna sentence singa o. So, the, the, so Africa are mavide sellers. This is where the problem is. Now, I have not done the chivaro, I have not done the calculation to know if you are to sell a bid day, or how much do you get per chidomara? Uh, no, no, per, per bunch. Per bunch. And, w and when you, 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 you saw uh, on BC, how many jerkins do you get from one bunch? Somebody should do that, that, that and, and, and see how much we are losing. What I'm saying, those who don't know uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, direct, the bananas for making beer, belong to a category called embidde, the, the sour bananas. Uh, now, selling raw materials, the, our, local, our, our people in the villages will understand this image very well. Because normally, the one who, who, who grows the sour bananas is the one who also ripens them and makes juice, and even makes the, 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 the local beer. Uh, it is int an integrated process, from growing, to ripening, to squeezing the juice, to okunyuka, okunyuke shande, noko, the one making the beer, there is a word there, <laughs> forgotten in Tunga language. Okhisa, okhisa, okhisa marwa, where you put the, the sweet juice back into the ground and it, it ferments and becomes beer. Ruagwa. And then, then others can, can, can distill it and, 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 and make waragi. So, the problem of, U of Uganda, the problem of Africa, has been to behave as, as the other unwise villager who only ends at selling 
and bid day, and then the others make money by ripening his mbide and uh, making the, the juice. Because when you, you make juice, you add value. When you make beer, you add value. When you distill the beer to something else, you make, va you make more value. More, more, more value. So for, for us, when we came, we said, for us, we are not Abatunda Mbide. This is the NRM. For us, we are not Abatunda Mbide. For us, we are not the sellers of, 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 of bunches of bananas without, without squeezing the juice, without, without fermenting the, the juice, without adding the other values. So, uh, and we have made some progress. And if people are listening to us, and <laughs> but, but, but the progress we make is by struggle. We, we fight. People oppose us here. We go here, we fight, we go. But still, I was trying to, you, you, you can get the Minister of Industry, and he can come here on this TV and uh, list. You, you should audit. We should, we should audit. In 1986, Tuasa Kanga, in 1986, what way are we buy uh, importing Okusaka? Uh -huh. Now, out of that list, what have we now? Okulimirawa no, ewafi. What have we? Uh, what are we producing? I was trying to just remember. Soap, soap was being imported. Beer, and the, and the beer, uh, well, well, I can't get them more. beer, it's not only beer being produced here, but it is using our sorghum. Okay. Using the sorghum of Uganda, from actually Soroti, I think that's where they're getting the sorghum from. So is, that sorghum is called something. There's a name for it. Is it Serena or something like that? Uh -huh. the, the agriculture will tell us. And also barley. Some people, some people of Uganda are, are, are growing barley. So you have the beer, which is integrated with our agriculture. And that's what NRM was telling you, point number five. Integrated and self-sustaining and independent. Katu olawa biya, katu wa mkwari wa no? Simanyawa nyo biya, when I tried to drink beer in 1966, it was so sour. I, I, I almost spit it. I, I asked my friend, what, what are you drinking this? Oh, I said, ogenda kutegero vwa miruvanyu madu. That I, 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 I will get the sweetness later, but, but it, it was so bitter. It was like uh, Omruloza, um, like uh, Ombirizi, one of the... Uh, one man's meat is another man's poison. The nani is here. Beer is here in plenty. Plenty. Uh, I found a huge factory in Barra there built by South Africa. I said, you, you, you South, Af South, Af South African whites, they have built a huge factory there. I said, you, you fellas, how did you know Barra? They said, we, 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 we got the data that many of the drunkards are on this side. <laughs> you, 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 you can't believe how, it's a huge factory, it's like the whole hill of, of uh, so beer, that one is now, we are, we are no longer kusaka, cement, imitayimbwa, steel bars, tea, tea is, 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 is processed both for local consumption and for export, textiles, textiles, uh, night tea, and others like uh, fine spinners, Although I don't know why the Ugandans are still buying the second-hand clothes, I don't know why they should be buying the products of 
of, of nitre and fine spinners, because it's a lot of money to which, which you are wasting. Um, using our cotton, batteries, our elder Mruana started producing batteries long ago from the beginning, re recycling, um, plastics, plastics, those are plenty, milk and milk products. These people of agriculture should come one day and, and tell you how that sector is now totally vertically integrated from the kurunda, from the cow, to the processing, to the byproducts even. It, it, is, it has moved very well. Maize, you can, you can, uh, you can imagine we used to, to get kawunga from Kenya. This packed, this packed uh, uh, kawunga was coming from Kenya. But now we have got a, a, a lot of maize, uh, but also animal feeds, animal feeds from, from, from maize. But we need to do more of, of, of that. And to get starch, I think some of the companies are beginning to, to, to get starch. Uh, sugar, sugar now we have, we, we, we have got surplus sugar, but also getting uh, ethanol, ethanol, which is like petrol from sugar, and also getting electricity. You can imagine the chikajo, the chikajo, the sugar cane, gives you sugar, gives you ethanol, uh, petrol, but also a bicamolo. A bicamolo gives you electricity. The, 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 uh. Rubber tires, I visited a factory in Mkono which is making rubber tires. R r rubber tires of motorcycles, I think even, even of cars. But using rubber, partly from Uganda, but also from Congo. Clay and ceramics from clay. This is Kapeka now. Co commercial explosives, these are being made by by neck, and they were, taking, they, were, they were taking a lot of money, 40, do 40 million dollars, commercial explosives for, 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 for quarrying, for quarries, for, for blowing up rocks. They were being imported. They are now being made here. A gold refinery. In fact, I hear gold refineries are like six. It's not only one. That's what I hear. Uh, gold refineries. The, the, the one I know is the one over in Tebe, but I hear there are, there are others where gold is purified completely. Uh, cables for electricity, marble, plywood. There are many factories of plywood. Many factories of plywood from wood. Uh, industrial sugar. We are now producing industrial sugar, not only the other sugar for drinking. Uh, fish factories, we, 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 at one time we had more than 20 uh, fish factories, and so on. So you, you, you can get the list. So we, we have really moved. Instead of just the other three C's and three T's, now we have got so many, you, you have to add many, many letters of the, of, of, the, of the alphabet. But we still need to do more. Uh, like for instance now, we have moved, not only processing here, but we have gone into making cars, automobiles, of different types, vaccines, making vaccines, pharmaceuticals, uh, medicine, diagnostics, Sanitizers. sanitizers, when sanitizers came, when they became necessary for Corona, ah, abafumba waragi watu yamba nyo. The waragi grow, grow, uh, brewers helped us because there was already a lot of waragi. So we, we just needed to add on 
to add on uh, mo mo more distillation to get to, 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 to 70 percent uh, which is the sanitizer so we are now big big players of the sanitizers I, I, I think the Minister of Industry can come one day and give you the details leather I am about to open for you a factory for leather processing so that our children who are making shoes uh, don't have to uh, to Kusaka to Kusaka leather from Kenya or from China so we are moving on, on, on those. Now, when I'm here, I would ask one of, my, of our warriors, Katawazi, if he's here. He, he's um, uh, one of our brothers from Karagwe, but, but he has made Uganda his home. So katabazi nunda gamba, nunda gamba uri nyambo, nunda gamba ururungu, nunda gamba. You are excellent, sir. You tell these people what you are, what you are doing. Yes. The 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 the, 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 the audience. Yes. Mm. Uh, your excellence, sir, honourable ministers, all of my dear comrades, ladies and gentlemen. My you name can, you can remove the mask so that they hear you well. My name is Metu Katawazi, and I'm the director of our company called Metu Jongtongo Basi Industries, based at Namanve. And this uh, uh, our industry of basi fabrication was established in 2018 and uh, the reason why it was established because uh, industry is established to serve mankind i looked at the situation of uganda where from the 1960s uganda was those are the those are the buses of of katawas show them uh-huh uh, from the 1960s, Uganda was importing complete bus units from a neighboring country in East Africa. And we continue to import even today, even though I have a factory in Namambe. So I established this factory in order to fabricate buses for our country so that at least Uganda we are self-sufficient in bus manufacturing and possibly also for neighboring countries. So when, when I started fabricating these buses, uh, with my daughter, who is here, engineer Doreen is seated behind here. Uh, I told my daughter that let us fabricate our bus. Even if it is a bad bus, it is our bus. <laughs> and we shall continue improving on it every time. We started 2018 and uh, 2019, His Excellency the President opened our factory in Namambe. I am glad to say that by now we are uh, fabricating buses to international standards. And uh, to prove that, I have I, one time I brought uh, buses which I fabricate for the Tata Corporation. They bring me chassis and I fabricate buses for them. And they accept this is the standard uh, equivalent to what they do in India. Now, when we fabricate these buses, our input is 50%. Well, value addition. Our value addition is 50%. And uh, our culture in our manufacturing is continuous improvement.
Uh, as I said, Your Excellency, sir, until now, although 2019, Your Excellency, you banned the importation of complete buses from outside Uganda. And uh, you did this in order to support our industry. But we have been getting very few orders from government. Mm. Because as government policy, we thought government should be the first to support our industry. Mm. We shall. Mm. Uh, but all the same, uh, let me take this, op this opportunity to thank a few government departments which are supporting us, which are supporting Bubu, like uh, 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 the Commissioner General of Prisons, Mr. Yava Sheija and his colleagues. They buy buses and trucks from us. We fabricate their buses, their trucks. Uh, the National Medical Store, I think we have fabricated three buses for them. The Minister of Health, we have fabricated a bus for them. The, the Uganda Virus Research, we have fabricated a bus for them. And also, we have fabricated the buses for private transporters, such as the perfect coach which go to Rukungiri, the Taus bus which go to Bushenyi, the Larem bus which go to Guru and the others. Some people from Bukova, my home, and Mwanza, sometimes they bring me chases here. I build the buses for them. So they bring chases, we put value addition, we get some money, and they take their bus. Sometimes they can buy chases from Nairobi, because Bukova is near Kampara. They prefer their bus built in Kampara. We build in Kampara, we take it to Vukova. So that, that's how we are moving. Sir. Thank you very much. So now the, um, the, 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 all the government departments will have to buy from, from either Katawazi or from, from NEC. If it was not being implemented, it will be implemented. Maharawai, to know the Thank you, Your Excellency. Mm. Um, Capture that young girl. I am Engineer Doreen Akolebirunji from Met Zongtong Bus Industries. And uh, as Your Excellency, you have reiterated the need for electrical vehicles. I would like everyone here present and the country at large to know that regardless of how we propel the vehicle, whether it is by internal combustion engines or electric battery vehicles, Metu Zongtong Bus Industries is very capable of adding value to these vehicles. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Excellent. those bus, you put, put those buses again and they see them, put them again, the pictures. The pictures. Ah, there you are. Put them, okay. So you can, now that is now. No more, no more Kusaka for the for the for the for the for the buses. How about other vehicles? I, I, engineer, Doreen. B b because there will be the question of the other uh, the other vehicles, the lorries, the what. Your Pardon Excellency, me? sir. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this is why we expanded it to Kasese. Mm. In Kasese, where we have enough area, we intend to do three categories of vehicles. The light vehicles, that is the car, the pickup. Then the medium vehicles, the tippers. And then the heavy trucks. So in Kasese, we shall be involved in light engineering, medium engineering, and heavy engineering. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. So this is how we are moving. 
Now, as I told you last time, we are going to move on value addition of all these other uh, uh, crops, like coffee. I was here with the people last time, they were telling you that we are now earning $800 million from coffee, the biggest in Africa, but with value addition, we can go to billions, we can add much more. I think somebody was talking of, they can give you the figure, somebody was talking of 13 billion or 10 billion, or whatever, but more, much more than, than what we are earning now. In Kirembe, we are going to make sure we have a, we have a tin refinery, a, 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 a copper refinery. The other day, I was discussing with a group to build a tin refinery in the Ntungamo area. We are going to build a, a, a steel factory in Kabare uh, using hydrogen, hydrogen instead of coal. We have already built oxygen plants during this corona. We built oxygen plants. The other day in Nakasongora, I opened an army, uh, a neck factory for nitrogen, uh, making and also for, for oxygen. We have got factories for making mobile phones, laptops, meter, uh, meter uh, electricity meters, water meters. The other day I was in Entebbe, I'm a SFC uh, making uh, cement blocks, including pavers. We've got a lot of, we have got a, 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 a plan to build a, a paper industry I want to, to, to capture my area there, Nankavara's area, the area of Singo, those hills which are bare. I was talking with the groups in Buyukwe, some Indian groups there, who want to produce paper using uh, bamboo and migano. And I was thinking of, of that uh, area of of Singo, those hills. So, this is the plan from the beginning of NRM of restoring the, 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 the enclave economy of the three C cities, three, three cities, expanding it, transforming it, and building a new economy an economy of liberation, not an economy of, of, of colonial dependency. Now, when this problem comes in, you can see how correct we were. Now, we are crying because of three or four items which are coming from outside. Fuel, fertilizers, palm oil, and wheat. What would have happened if we were still also importing beer <laughs> and importing soda and importing cement and importing mtayimbo and importing milk? What would have happened? How would we have managed? We are now crying just because of these items of... of Mainly fuel, palm oil, uh, fertilizer, and wheat. So the question is, what would have happened? Now, if people listen to the NRM, this we shall quickly recover this. Because for, for palm oil, we have already scaled up. The other time I showed you what's happening in Maruzi. If you have those pictures, show them. The Maruzi, the palm oil there which is being grown there. If you, if you have it, show it when you get it. Uh, fertilizer, we, we have our Sukuru, Sukuru project here. It has delayed, 
but but it will it will it will it will be done because we have got a big a big deposit of phosphates there. Ah, that is Maruzi now. That is palm oil using irrigation in Maruzi. And we are going to do the same in Sango Bay, big project, and in, in Buvuma. So therefore, when we, we had this problem, you remember the debate was, the, the, there was a, an opinion that subsidize, subsidize the petrol from outside and cancel, remove taxes, remove taxes. Now, that one we, we said, no, this is not wise. Get me my spectacles. We said, you people, this is not wise. Subsidize Okusaka. Because that's what people were saying, that we subsidize Okusaka. Ntibana bange, aka senta katono akariwo, aka waka, kaka no, muyongere musake. Ah, nzo wa ntunga mo, sibu enti obu endo oza. Fyo wafo entunga mo, echa fyo kuzimba. So the question is, what do we do? Do we intensify dependency to younger Oksaka or do we disengage? Akasenta Kariwo, do we use it to, to, to disengage and be free of Oksaka or do we use it to, <laughs> to, to, to intensify and bleed ourselves white? Finish Okumara Mom Sai Mbutsaka. Now, secondly, when you say we, 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 we remove the taxes, that means, ha, in Wutu Zero and Wanani, the Tuno Kora. The, the, the money we have here that is funded by the money of taxes which people say we should remove and that means we forget about the road the road we're about to do we, 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 we stop it we put the money in, in, in subsidizing petrol for, 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 for send more money to the, to, to the Arabs <laughs> Our roads should and go to Ziruano. Karenga Bira, that is in Karamoja, Nkenda Bugoye, Kasese, Mubuku Mariba, Kampara Mukono, that section, you know, has been uh, spoiled. Zana Kajansi, Bwai Sekawempe Matuga. Busun Juchi Wogahoima, Nankabrangola, Munange, presented to Genda Kuzia Kurugutono to take you to Kuksaka. Ishanyu is where Ivanda, Nebi Arui, Karuma Pakwach, Nebi Arua. Matugase mutoka peka, masaka chwetera mutukura, Kampala Northern Bypass, Mbararishaka, Kasese Kirembe, Mijera, Mijera, Kafu, Chigumba, Chikorongo Mpondwe, Mubende Chejegwa Chenjojo, Kampala Gaya Zakaragi, Mukono Jinja, Maraba Busi ya Jinja, Mtunga Mokagamba Rukunjiri, Kafu Masindi, Kaba Rikisoro, 
some of these roads it is to repair because some of them are already there. Uh, Busega Mitiana, Kampara Masaka, Masaka Mbarara, Mbarantunga Mokawa Katuna, Kampara Ruero, Ruero Kafu, Chugumba Gulu, and so on and so on. And so, all these roads are here. Yeah. They are so old, they are all here. Huh? Some of them are, are, are new ones, totally new ones. Ishaka Katunguru, Nabumari Butareja, Namutumba. This is a new road, which people have been demanding in that area. Jinja, uh, Mbulamuti, Kamuli, this is a very important road. Kamulubukungu, Moroto Kotido, Chisoro Nkuri Ngo, Rubuguri, Muko, Buzwera Nyakambu, Nsika, Nyakashaka, Nyakabirizi, with a spot Kabohe, Chisubi, Nakawuka, Natete, Kasanje, Mpiji, Mbare, Nkokonjeru, Puranga, Choribur, Luku, Karanga, Murabana, Kanoni, Misinji, Mitiana, Pajure Pader, Kotido Kabong, Kotido Abim, Aloi Lira, Kayunga Bare, Gariraya, Dokoro Ochero, Namasare, Kashoka Shonjir Humba, Tororo Nagongera Busorwe, Iga Angabulo Pakamuli, New Katungu Bridge, uh, Access Roads, Fort Potro, Chijura, Charsoz, Katoke, Ntusi, Riantonde, Misi, Ndiye, Kavimbiri, Zero, Uwe, Wobulenzi, Kapeka, Butarangwa, Kapeka, Chituma, Chituma, Kanyantarogo, Utogota, Bohoma, Kanungu, Rujeyo, Nyakishenyi, Chisizi, Mohanga, Rugazi, Buyukwe, Chiyindi, Manibe, Ure, Matugawa, Kiso, Bolova Sangi, New Sezibo Bridge, Serere, Soloti Serere Mpingire Mugarama, Kumi Ngora Brooks Corner Serere Kagwara, Mianzi Bukuya Chiboga. Now, that, I have not finished the list. The taxis we are talking about are, are to do these roads. Not only the roads, I'm talking about the roads, but <laughs> there are the schools, the, the health centers, the what? Huh? Now, we, we stop these projects, the money should be put in subsidizing imports, imports of, 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 of fuel, uh, and I think also palm oil, and uh, so, so that we intensify dependency, we drain ourselves, this is a big mistake. So that's why the short, the long term answer is clear. Of, of, the, of, the, of the four big imported problems, Fertilizer, we shall make our own fertilizer. We shall buy what is there now, but we shall make ours from Sukuru and from potassium, potassium uh, cassese, and eventually uh, in, uh, in uh, uh. although for fertilizer, one could think even of, 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 of subsidy, because of subsidy, uh, it goes into production. That one actually somebody could even think, or, or even when it is imported. First, there is no tax on it. There is no tax on fertilizer. But even subsidizing, one could think about In fact, we are really thinking about it. We are really thinking about it for fertilizer. But for fuel, for palm oil, the answer is growing our own. Wheat, I hear the price is coming down because of the, the diplomacy, the diplomacy, uh, and I don't know whether Uganda can grow wheat, 
me, I, I've never bothered with wheat. They were growing it in Kapchorwa, but, but, but the, the area was small. But for wheat, I, I wouldn't really lose sleep because there are alternatives, much better alternatives. Cassava, much better. Akaro, which I take, uh, that's why you see how I am, 70, I'm going to be 78. <laughs> you see how, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you bring football here, we will see what will happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So the real problem is, fu is fuel. It is the fuel. And the answer for it is to go to the electric vehicles number one, and electric picky pickies. And secondly, to use the railway, where the railway can be quickly repaired. So before I proceed, there are people who are making uh, uh, picky picky solar power, uh, electric picky pickies. Are they here? Uh-huh. OK. You say something. Put your microphone on. Your Excellency, sir. Honorable ministers present. Remove the mask so that we can hear you. Okay. Your Excellency, sir. Honorable ministers present. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Professor Emeka Akezua. I am the Vice Chancellor of the International University of East Africa in Kansanga, Kampala. And I'm here with my colleague, Mr. Alwi Hassan. I am a scientist and engineer by training. And I am happy to present to you the electric motorcycle, the IUEA electric motorcycle that was designed and developed at IUEA with partners. And our whole philosophy about this is to produce in Uganda, to develop product solutions for transportation in Uganda using mobile, um, based on mobility, using clean energy, electric energy. So we have, Your Excellency, created the e-motorcycle to enable us to help create jobs here in Uganda, develop capacity, the talent to build technological solutions in the area of transportation and many other areas. So the electric picky picky that we have created is on the roads in Kampala. We are piloting those and we have generated a lot of research that shows that these motorcycles are very viable we can build them here in Uganda using local talent. We can build them with our partners. And we have showed that we will be able to employ a lot of people to build these here. What we have done, Your Excellency, is up to this point, we have created, we have put aside three acres of land where we will be doing the production of the motorcycle, the parts, and the assembly of these e-motorcycles. Of course, the technology we have in terms of electric um, solutions can be applicable to electric tractors, electric boats, and bicycles. Our whole idea is to create this solution here in Uganda and, of course, sell in Uganda. So we, we buy the philosophy of build in Uganda and buy Ugandan. And of course, Your Excellency, we can also export this to other countries and use it to do income generation for the country. We are very confident that we can employ a lot of people and we can generate a lot of money. We have about 50 prototypes. Those prototypes we have piloted for a while now, Your Excellency, and they've yielded very good results. We, based on this 50, we've been able to hire people, researchers, who, will be, who are working on this motorcycle, uh, 40, about 40 border border riders who are piloting it on the streets of Uganda, um, Kampala here, and also assemblers and data center um, experts. 
So this solution, Your Excellency, will help us to bring down the price um, of petrol and also help with um, environmental pollution. We intend that we will be doing the integrated and self-sustaining type of development that you have spoken about, Your Excellency, point five. And what that means is it's self-sustaining because we intend to build over 60 percent of these electric motorcycles using solutions that are based here in Uganda because the idea is to not import what we want. So we do subscribe in this economy of liberation, not economy of dependency, even in the areas of technology, specifically in the areas of technology. This will help a lot because the talent will be Ugandan. The product will be 60 to 80% Ugandan within a short period of time. We are looking for you know, support to help us to move it from... We shall support you. Now the... Thank you, Your Excellency. The question is, uh, first of all, you would use clean energy. Yes, sir. But how operational costs, how much lower would they be compared to the ones of, 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 of petrol? Um, it will be more than 50% cost effective because on a single charge, we have cheap, cheaper. cheaper. Yes, Your Excellency. Mm. Um, if we look at the fossil fuel-based motorcycle, say, for example, we take 70 kilometers, um, 70 kilometers will be about 7 liters of petrol. And at the current rate, that would be about 45,500 Ugandan shillings. Now, um, for the electric motorcycle, the highest cost, worst case scenario, will be 6,000 shillings because on one charge that will take the rider for seven kilometers, that will be three units of yaka at probably 1,000 Ugandan shillings per yaka. So in terms of fuel, it's significantly more than, in fact, more than 60% cheaper Se on the electric. Seven kilometers with the petrol, Oh, 17, I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Yes. Is, is how much? Um, so, seven, you said you used seven kilometers. 70 kilometers. 17? No, seven zero kilometers. Oh, 70. Yes, Your Excellency. Uh -huh. uh, for fuel, you would use how much? For petrol, you would use how much? Two liters. Okay. For, for petrol, you will use... Two liters. Two liters. For 70 kilometers? Yes, Your Excellency. And it will be how much? It will be about 13,000 13, shillings. Uh -huh. And for our, our electric? For electric, it will be about three, three to five. 5,000? Yes, Your Excellency. About one, 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 one quarter? Yes, Your Excellency. Uh -huh. Uh, so and, the, and, the, and the price, the purchase price? Um, the purchase price, I think we are still, we are working on that, Your Excellency. But our rough calculation is that it... Sorry. Seven. Okay, seven million, Your Excellency. Uh, seven million? Yes. And how long will it last? The motorcycle will last at least... 10, 10 years at least mm -hmm. because the frame is very rugged and what we have done is we have designed it using Ugandan conditions so it can go on hills, potholes and um, heavy duty material that people carry use on motorcycles. So it will last for at least 10 years. The frame is very strong and the parts are all we intend to Move, make all the parts here in Uganda so that it will be m much cheaper. Uh, and this other one lasts how many years normally? Uh, the, the regular motorcycles. Five years? Yeah, probably about five to seven, depending on usage. Th these ones of fuel? Yes. Mm -hmm. So there you are, Ugandans, that the, the solution, instead of saying, 
oh, okay, that's one. Now the railway. Who is from the railway repairing the standard, the, the, the meter gauge? Who, who can give us information? Thank you very much, Your Excellency. As far as uh, repairing the meter gauge is concerned, we're repairing the uh, Kampala Maraba meter gauge railway. Remove your mask so that we can hear you. Um, they, we are repairing the Kampala Malaba meter gauge railway where currently we receive most of our cargo from and also we are planning to, to repair that is uh, Mukono Chengera uh, to increase on the passengers also we have the repairing of uh, uh, the, the, the Tororo Guru railway line uh, then in addition we shall have the one of Guru Pakwach. Then also we have we are in studying about the repairing of Kampala Kasese, all those lanes. And currently the lane we have the, the Kampala Maraba Rail line where we are carrying our cargo. Currently we are handling a cargo of twenty thousand tons. That is per month. But when by November we finish its rehabilitation, because the line was a bit old and we are soon completing, we shall handle 60 tons, 60,000 tons of cargo. That is a day. A day? A day. Mm -hmm. mm, then also, Your Excellency. How long will that take? How long will it take? To repair? Yes. Uh, by November, we shall have finished the rehabilitation of the Kampala Marabari line. By October, they will have finished repairing uh, Kampala uh, Ka Maraba. Yes, Excellency. Then Kamp uh, Tororo, Guru, Pak Guru, and then Guru Pakwach? Uh, the one of uh, Tororo Guru, because we also have uh, the Guru Logistic Hub, which can hand out of cargo. Uh, the, the Tororo Guru. Uh, by the end of next year, we shall have finished it because we had some issues with the people who had encroached on the rail line, but we are handling it. And by end of next year, we shall be there. Then by end of 2025, we shall have finished the other one of uh, uh, Kampala, Kasese, uh, then the one of uh, Guru Pakwach. Mm -hmm. Then this one of... Uh, Kampala Chengera, where we, we seek, because currently we are, this one of Kampala Namave, it is carrying passengers, about 2,000 passengers a day. So we have also decided to extend Kampala Chengera, so that these ones who are going through the jam, if they go by train, they will move very fast. And that one, by the end of next year, we shall be done with it, Mzei. And when you transport cargo by train, how much cheaper is it? Have you done the Chibaru? Uh, maybe I may invite the, the, the MDRC to tell us uh, when they transport cargo by train, how cheap it is. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, my name is Stanley Sendegea. Your name is? My name is Stanley Sendegea. I'm the managing director of Uganda uh, Railways. Stanley Sendegea. Sendegea. Yes, Your Excellency. Okay. Yeah, Your Excellency, uh, when you move cargo currently on road, it's uh, 19 cents, uh, US cents from Mombasa to Kampala. And the railway we are doing currently, we are doing 13 cents. The, from Kampala to Mombasa? Mombasa to Kampala is 19 cents on road. 19 cents? US cents, Your Excellency. Per? Per net ton kilometer. Per? Per net ton kilometer. Per, per, N, per, per NTK. You tell us the total, you will confuse us. You know we are from Raikstura. <laughs> <laughs> Your Excellency, when you move cargo by, by road from Mombasa... Like, like a whole ton from uh, here to Mombasa. And now if it is a container, for instance, mm. a 20 feet container, mm. on road it will cost you about uh, 3,000, and on road it will be about 1,500. Okay, so it will be like half. To be like a half, Your Excellency. Now, the internal here, the, the internal, the matoke, the what, how much would it be cheaper? Now, internal, Your Excellency. I, if you had a lorry full of seven tons yes, Your Excellency. of matoke from uh, Tororo to here, 
Yeah, we are doing the, if it, we are doing five hundred dollars um, by twenty. That's about to 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 twenty five. Whereas the road will be twice. The best example is passengers, where we are doing uh, one thousand shillings from Namave to Kampala, and the road is doing four thousand shillings. Okay. Yes, Your Excellency. The, the, so, Sendege is telling you that by the, 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 this Kampala Kayora. Kayola, yes, Kayola train. Yes, sir. That the money the, on the train you pay one thousand. Yes, your excellency. Oh, but on 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 other means you will pay about four thousand. Four thousand, mm -hmm. and we are using forty-five minutes, mm -hmm. whereas the road you can sit in in a taxi for three hours between Namamba and Kampala, your excellency. Oh, the traffic jam and all that. Yes, your excellency. Uh -huh. yes. So, Ugandans, the NRM answer for this imported inflation is number one, especially the fuel part. The, the other parts we have got separate answers. The, the, for the fertilizer, we shall make our own. For the uh, butto, we shall make our, our own. Uh, for the wheat, the, the wheat I don't, I don't know, Ramirama can tell us whether we can grow wheat because we don't have uh, enough cold land for wheat. I, if you can grow wheat in the lowlands and it is, uh, brings more money than, uh, than, than cassava, <laughs> I would promote it. Otherwise, uh, I would encourage our people to go to cassava to, to be like me. me. I don't eat, I'm here, Ugandans. I don't eat bread. I don't eat rice because I'm not an Indian. I'm not a European, you see me. I am from the, the cow clan, Nedilante. But they want to you know, you And I hear this doctor as well as can tell you that actually wheat has got a problem. It has got something called what? You can tell us, the, the one of the stomach. Wheat, bread, has got some. Gluten. Has got what? Gluten. <laughs> It has gluten. It has something called gluten, yes. which causes indigestion. Yes, digestion and other ailments. Hmm? So it's not good for our health. You tell them. You it contains gluten, and that's not good for our health. It causes indigestion, but also puts you at risk of other ailments. Like blood pressure. Even cancers. Even the cancer. Yes. Uh -huh. Diabetes. Uh -huh. So, so the message you have been giving that so the organic food my, like my own pressure is sort of the problem of palm oil grow, grow it locally but also fertilizer that wheat I'm not in a hurry because I know there are other alternatives but Ramama can tell us those who can we grow wheat, where can we grow wheat yeah. Your Excellency, we can grow wheat in the eastern region and uh, on the Rwenzori where we have temperate climate. But recently we have an investor whom you met from South Africa. They have got a technology, say, because of our, of our altitude. We can... Uh, produce wheat massively using the new technology. You met him, Your Excellency, the one who wants to do machinery here and uh, silos mm. to supply the feeds for the animals. Okay. Yes, Your Excellency. We can even grow, grow it in the lowlands, like in, uh, yes. in Nyoro. Yes, he said he, he can because the altitude is high. Mm. But this is a, he says a new technology and, uh, okay. and he's very sure about it. Okay, but for me, my real problem is the fertilizer because all the others we, we, we are no longer kusaka the milk the beer the soap the soda or if we were kusaka all of those where would we be uh -huh. and we remember in 1986 we were kusaka all of these <laughs> but we covered most of them. There's only this gap of, of, the, of, of this one. 
So therefore, for fuel, for petroleum, the answer is Oksenguka. For our Lunzi, Bofuneki Zu, I want, and then in his fear of Oksenguka, Nogenda, Warada, is to shift from from uh, petroleum to electric and then the railway because the railway even if it's not yet electric even if it is still using uh, diesel but i think it's much cheaper it uses much less um, in terms of economics it, it, because it carries mo more huh? Yes, Your Excellency, it is, it is cheaper. We will do less emissions. It, it doesn't emit a lot of carbon into the air, but also we use less fuel. And, and, and you spend less yes, Your Excellency. compared to what you carry? Yes, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. Okay, so therefore, the answer is, number one, electric cars, electric pikipikis, the railway. And the money we have, we are going to spend it on those. To, 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 to get out of, not to, intense, not to deepen ourselves in the trap of, of, of Oksaka, of dependency. Uh, so therefore, Therefore, the way forward is number one, be because also this Kusaka, buying from outside, you, you are buying expensive things, but you are also spending your dollars. The dollars, because when we buy things from outside, we don't use our Uganda shillings, we use dollars. Now, these dollars, some of us have earned them for you. I have produced coffee and earned dollars for you. I have produced milk and earned dollars for you. And my other people have also earned for you. Now, when we bring the money here, you now send it back, the dollars, to buy more fuel. Uh, th th this is not fair. And the price of the dollar goes up. Because now the dollar has gone from 3,400 to now 3,000, about o o almost 900. Uh -huh. Now that means I, I, I need to spend more shillings to buy the same dollar. So that's why it is very crucial that we earn more dollars. We earn more dollars. First, we, we suckle less so that we don't spend uh, as many dollars as, 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 as we spend as, as, as few dollars as possible. But at the same, same time, we add value to our coffee, to our minerals, to our, so that we earn more dollars. Yeah. We earn more dollars. Then the Kusenguka from the Kusenguka to the migrating to move from the new colonial economy to, to our liberation economy, the one of, uh, of, of uh, clean energy, less, less Kusaka, more value for our products. The short term, because people may say, okay, Museven, what you are talking about will take some time. What you talk about will take some time to, 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 to be realized. I, I know that. But the, our answer for the short time are two. Number one, diplomacy. Uh, since this problem started, I've been talking with the Russians. I've been talking with the Americans all of them confidentially. Uh, now you see like the wheat diplomacy 
which involves other people, has started bringing the wheat of Ukraine. Now, even fewer, because if we wanted, we could talk with Russia and say, Russia, you said us uh, subsidized the fuel. They could send it to us. But that will cut, put us in collision with the Americans. We will start quarreling with the Americans now. And for, for, for now, I don't think this is necessary. I think for now, let us the, 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 the fuel to, to economize to economize, to, 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 to use, to use, uh, to use retro. And, and as we, we get these other uh, solutions. Now, these measures will help us to deal with the imported problem, the ones we have talked about. But we, ca we can also have our own problems here. Like recently, we had a little bit of drought the rain was not reliable. And uh, we, we don't want, uh, and because of that, some crops failed. Uh, of course, we have, Uganda has got many foods. We have got bananas, we have got these other ones. Uh, but we want to stabilize our agriculture so that we never have uh, our own problems now. Because if there is crop failure, because of rain, or because of, uh, of, of, uh, of insects which eat crops, then we shall no longer be importing problems, but we shall also, also be having a problem of our own. So I would like the Minister of Agriculture to tell you about our plan for ensuring that we are immunized against all these uh, uh, local problems. <clears throat> Your Excellency, one of your colleague ministers and distinguished viewers, because of increased population and uh, human activities, they have put pressure on the environment and caused the degradation of the environment. And uh, as a result, we have uh, experienced dry spells, which are very severe, like His Excellency has mentioned. We are, as a result of failed weather conditions, our soils are exhausted, and uh, we are also having experience of droughts, and uh, matters are made worse by the, the pests. As a, a result of this, the President has uh, guided that we get a, a we get up, uh, we we'll come up with a plan to mitigate the effects of climate change and the, and the failed weather condition to ensure that we have food enough for our, our, our population. And the Minister of Agriculture and Industry and Fisheries have done the following measures. One is that uh, because our, uh, much of our arable land is not cultivated, we are, going, we are going into mechanization full scale, and we are uh, going to have two mechanization, 21 mechanization centers in the country. We are also uh, empowering farmers uh, to make sure that the both medium and large scale farmers that they mechanize agriculture. We are no longer thinking of uh, really rain fed agriculture anymore. Uh, His Excellency has supported us to make sure that we, we, we provide water for livestock, for crop resources, and we are going to do irrigation and uh, also provide water for livestock and uh, uh, water for aquaculture. Equally important are the soil, uh, uh, soil health. Uh, we must know that uh, much of our land is not opened up, and even where land has been opened up, the soils are degraded. We have uh, made arrangements to make sure that uh, uh, we, 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 we use fertilizers, and even where land has not been opened, it's no longer a choice to, to have fertilizers, but uh, it's a must because even most of the lands, our land where we have cultivated, the soils are exhausted. So we are looking at the uh, necessary soil nutrients and applying fertilizers in those areas. 
and uh, we are uh, very grateful for the president's plan of ma making fertilizers here in Uganda, particularly in the eastern region. Uh, equally, other interventions are uh, interventions uh, to do with, uh, with extension services, and uh, we are supporting post-harvest post losses and uh, storage facilities from the small holders to medium farmers to, to, to large-scale farmers, and we continue to work with the Ministry of Trade, uh, uh, Industry, and Cooperative to make sure that uh, those silos, the regional silos, are run professionally so that we mitigate the, the, the challenges of storages. In the short term, uh, we have been supported by the President once again that uh, we look uh, at immediately uh, people and uh, institutions which can provide land uh, to produce food. You must be aware that in the parish model, many farmers are moving away from, uh, from uh, raw value crops like maize, and uh, this may cause a shortage of both uh, human f food and uh, animal feed. So in this regard, we are looking at uh, opening a huge uh, land of, uh, of, 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 of for maize, for soya bean, and um, uh, for, for key, uh, key crops. And we have looked at uh, available land from government institution. Uh, the first one is Uganda prisons, which we have been working with. They are going to open up about 50,000 uh, uh, acres of land. We are looking at the uh, UPDF, we are looking at the uh, Nagrik, we are looking at the uh, Naro, we are looking at the, uh, at the, uh, uh, I think, police, oh, and the UPDF, NEC, so that uh, in the short term, in this season which is coming, we are ready to finance uh, this uh, uh, opening up of, of this uh, land and make sure that uh, this, uh, the land available uh, immediately to government is, is used for production of very key uh, important crops to make sure that we are fully secure. And I want to say that uh, against this background, we are uh, making sure we provide seed and planting materials of high quality, and narrow is, is in the forefront of this. Uh, also stocking material for livestock and uh, stocking material for fisheries. Your Excellency, once again, I want to say that uh, we have already submitted a cabinet paper and has been approved, and uh, we are ready to roll out to this budget in the short run. And I think uh, this is uh, the way um, to go, Your Excellency. Um, and on the side of the shortage of palm oil, I will ask my colleague to add on so that uh, he can, we can right. now finish. Thank you for your attention, Your Excellency. Do we have uh, pictures of, the, of some irrigation? If you have pictures of some irrigation, show us. The ex yes, Your Excellency, they are available. I think they, they were given some pictures. And we, we have very huge irrigation schemes which are running. And we have planned uh, so many water facilities uh, in the Cato Corridor and in many areas where water is... You can uh, show them to us after Chakura has told us about the palm oil. Okay, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, uh, dear viewers and uh, listeners out there, it is true, it is uh, because of uh, importation of crude palm oil that the prices of soap and the prices of cooking oil are high. As we talk, the country is importing about 300 met metric tons of crude palm oil. 300,000. 300,000 metric tons. And for this, we are paying US dollars 300 million. Can you imagine 300 million? Which is the equivalent of uh, about 1.2 trillion, which is more than 2% of uh, our national budget. And uh, it is true, you have guided us 
to reverse this situation of donating. So we, we get $800 million from coffee and, and, and immediately we send back yes. $300 million for this oil, which we can do here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Your Excellency, you have guided us and uh, you have been uh, leading the effort of uh, reversing this situation since the early 1990s when uh, you directed us to do trials of growing palm oil in Uganda. And we found that it is possible to grow uh, rain-fed palm oil in Uganda. And we, we marked on this uh, project in uh, 2005, after resisting, uh, of, overcoming a lot of resistance from uh, uh, different uh, circles. So in 2005, we started planting palm oil in Kalangala. And as we talk, we have planted a total of 11,352 hectares. And from this, we are getting 41,511 metric tons, meaning that we, are, we have started reducing on the deficit of uh, our national demand for palm oil, which we use for making soap. So the 41,000 is, 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 is deducted from the 300,000? Or, or it would have been 340,000? It would have been 340,000. Oh, OK. Because this sea fort was of earlier than uh, the time when uh, uh, we calculated the deficit of 300,000, mm. which were importing from uh, mainly Indo Indonesia and Malaysia. Having uh, found that it is uh, viable to grow palm oil here, we have expanded this program to Vuma, where we plan to plant 7,650 hectares work in Ibuvum has started. We have acquired land. Uh, an investor has started uh, planting palm oil in, uh, uh, in Ibuvuma and establishing a mill. And uh, in uh, one year, we shall start harvesting and start milling. And once we start milling, we expect uh, 28,611 metric tons from Muvoma. Concurrently, Your Excellency, you guided and the government provided 54 square miles of land to an investor in Maruzi, in Apache district, where this investor is establishing 12,000 hectares of palm oil. And uh, this is uh, irrigated as uh, opposed to rain fed, which is in Kalangala and Ibuvuma. This investor has already established the irrigation system in that area, able to feed uh, water to 12,000 hectares. And uh, he has planted, and uh, by June, 2023, it will start harvesting and milling. And at the peak from Maruze, we expect 44,880 metric tons of crude palm oil. We have also started work in Sango Bay. Uh, Your Excellence, you provided uh, uh, 16,700 hectares of land to two investors in Sango Bay, and uh, we are going to mobilize uh, the surrounding communities to be outgrowers. And uh, in Sango Bay, we expect 20,000 hectares in total when you combine the nucleus farm and uh, the outgrowers. And out of this, we expect 74,800 metric tons. 
Your Excellence, we also plan to expand to Mayuge, and the, that hub of Mayuge will cover uh, the districts of uh, Bujiri and Namayingo. And for that hub, we expect 6,200 metric tons, from which we expect 23,188 metric tons of uh, of, of, of crude palm oil. Similarly, we want to establish an, another hub in Uyukwe that will cover Mukono and other areas, which has 3,000 hectares, and from which we expect 11,220 metric tons. We also plan to go to Masaka, where we expect a, a total of 3,000 hectares where we expect 11,220 metric tons. We also found that it is possible to grow rain-fed oil palm in the Bunyoro area to cover Chivare, uh, Kagadi, and Fort Porto. And this area, our plan is for 9,000 hectares. And from these 9,000 hectares, we expect 33,660 uh, metric tons. And finally, we plan to establish similar plantations in the areas of Zombo, Moyo, and Ajumani. And in that area, we also plan for 9,000 hectares, from which we expect uh, 33,660. Your Excellency, the, 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 the arrangement is that in each of these hubs, government will allocate land to a private investor to establish a nucleus plantation and a mill, a mill for extracting the uh, crude palm oil from the fresh fruit bunches. But also, uh, our arrangement is that uh, once uh, an investor has uh, established a nucleus farm and a mill on a minimum of uh, 5,000 hectares. Then we mobilize farmers or the community surrounding that nucleus farm. And uh, we encourage them to grow palm oil based on the profitability of this enterprise. We have calculated that this uh, enterprise is profitable. We have actually found out that uh, once you are a small holder farmer, up to two hectares, which is uh, about five acres, you will be able to earn on a monthly basis 500,000 shillings once you start harvesting in three years after planting. And you will be able to earn that money 500,000 shillings every month for 25 to 30 years. And uh, this is a steady income. And uh, Your Excellence, we have resources to finance these smallholder farmers to a tune of uh, about uh, a tune of about 23 million shillings because uh, we have calculated that uh, the cost of establishing a palm oil plantation of uh, two hectares, which is about five acres, is exactly that amount of 23 million shillings. So we have resources to finance uh, smallholder farmers that are ready to plant uh, up to two hectares with the uh, 23 million shillings, and then they pay back in a period uh, of 10 years at an interest of 10 percent. And uh, your, your, your Excellence, our experience in Kalangala is that this arrangement is uh, very successful. Uh, we have this bust uh, about 53 billion shillings in loan is to smallholder farmers in Kalangala. And as we talk, uh, the recovery rate of uh, 
this loan to the smallholders is 100 percent. There are no defaulters, meaning that the business is viable, so the smallholders are able to pay back uh, the money borrowed and uh, at the same time reta retain a, day, a, a monthly income which is steady. Uh, Your Excellence, uh, on addition to the support to these farmers, we have arranged in such a way that the community become shareholders in the uh, company that he has invested in that area by virtue of the government's contribution of land to the investor. Once the government contributes land to the investor, then that contribution is translated into 10% shares into the company, shares owned by the community that surrounds this company. Your Excellency, I'll give you an example. In Kalangala, since uh, this project started in 2005, and uh, the government uh, uh, gave land to the investor, Bidiko Uganda Limited, the shares have attracted, attracted dividend of 37 billion shillings, which is uh, uh, benefited to the local community. So Kalangala farmers, the smallholder farmers. Local community, you mean uh, outgrowers? Outgrowers. Yes, uh, big specific, not, not the ones who are more than Azurura Mjini, no. The, yes, the, it's the farmers. The, the outgrowers. The outgrowers. Mm. Yes, so they benefit by becoming shareholders in the company. They earn from what they sell, but they also earn from earn from the owning. profits of the company. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Okay. So now you show us the irrigation. The picture person show us the irrigation. This television, you should use it to educate people, not to, not to talk rubbish as normally. Uh, I hope I've not been talking rubbish for the last two hours. Like I normally see, see people. Who, where is that? Somebody should tell us. Aniamanyi. Your Excellency, maybe I mention, we have Doho uh, in Butareja, which is having the rice and... Uh, oh, they, they are showing something there. They are saying it is what? That is Tochi. 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 Uh, Tochi in, in, in Oyam. Mm -hmm. We have Mubuku one in Kasese. We have Agoro in Kitugum, Dokolo. Orweni in Dokoro, we have Ruengaju in Kawarore, we have Mbuktu in Kasese, we have Doho Tu in Utaleja, rice, which is serving rice and uh, uh, covering an area of 1,178. We have Sironko, uh, Achomai in Bukedia and Sironko, it is uh, serving uh, uh, an area of 1,000 uh, uh, hectares. We have medium scheme, which is Tochi, the one which was there. Uh, it is uh, covering an area of 500 hectares. We have Nge Ngege in Kwen. Uh, it is serving 880 hectares. Uh, we have Atari in Kwen rice, uh, serving 680. We have other existing and functional irrigation scheme, Your Excellency. Uh, this is Ichibimba, Bujiri. It's covering an area of 3,900 hectares. We have Kachira in Jinja Sugarcane. It's functional and private. It has 1,500 hectares. We have Rugazi uh, serving the sugarcane. It's also private. It's 322 hectares. We have Muhochakasese rice uh, scheme. It is functional and serving a community. It's covering 50 hectares. We have existing schemes, but not um, uh, in a good state. We have Kige uh, in, 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 
in, in Kabuli. We have uh, Odina in Soroti. We have uh, Rabori, Serere, and uh, Atera in Apach, and Ongom, Areptonga. Your Excellency, uh, this is uh, the new arrangement. We are going to make them function, Your Excellency. Now you can see this one. This is a micro. You put, put back that one there. You can see this one is not part of the other mega ones. Put it. Bring it back. Yeah, you can see that one is uh, yeah, yeah. the micro one, the ones we are going to to give solar powered water pumps. Uh, then you can irrigate your garden. Not part of not part of what Ramarama was talking about. Because what Ramarama was talking about was the big ones, but these are the micro ones. Which can be on each farm. Your Excellency, we are planning to make intervention on medium and large scale farmers, and uh, we're using the solar and uh, also uh, irrigation, uh, uh, upstream irrig uh, uh, irrigation where applicable. Yeah, these ones are based on almost on each farm or each village uh, where there is uh, not the other ones which are. Uh, uh, large uh, uh, as, uh, uh, those which are not communal I uh, mean which are communal which are co communal this one is individual is individual now finally the environment huh. the environment you know NRM is like well, I don't want to take away God's glory by comparing NRM to a prophet. A prophet. Because whatever we tell you, when people don't listen, that's how we get into problems. Nineteen, when we were in the bush fighting Yamin, we wrote the 10-point program. And we told you about point number five. Please, if you want to be all right, build an economy which is integrated, independent, self-sustaining. Don't, don't have a dependent economy. That's what we say. In writing, it's not. <laughs> now, where, where people listen, we, we, we move. Where they don't listen, we get into problems. These high prices are imported high prices. Because people, for the fewer one, I can say this was maybe unavoidable. But for the others, like for instance, uh, uh, cooking oil, this palm oil, if, if people were not opposing us, would have moved long ago. Would not be having that problem. 300 million, imagine 300 million dollars to, to, to bring butto, which we can produce here. Now, coming to the environment, how many times have we begged you? Please, you Ugandans. God is the one who made this, this, this earth. And in the book of Genesis, he said, water separate from the land. And the land separated from the water. It is in the book of Genesis. Very clearly. But people say, no, God was wrong. He didn't know what he was talking about. Where God said there should be water, somebody makes a garden. Umuruso Gabaka went to Chibumba, Yarite, the Yariakora. God didn't know what he was doing. Really? God is the one who said this is a swamp, this is a river, this is a mountain. This, this is a forest, Ichibira. Imaramagambo. You, you know the forest in Ankore? It's called Imaramagambo. The one Ankore called it Imaramagambo because it was so big. When you went there, you, you had no words to say. You were speechless. It was so massive. This is ancient. My great grandfather, Kashanku, Kachamkanga. He used to go there to steal cows from 
the Banyabutumbi who were living in the forest. And the Bahoro will come back telling you that the Banyabutumbi has got tails, that, that, that they had tails. Huh? Ancient, ancient forest. We, we had another forest which was put by the colonial borders in Tanzania called Muzeire Otakwa. Muzeire, up to now it is there. I don't know whether the Tanzanians have cut it. That is where Banyankore would retreat with their cows when they would be invaded by Banyoro in their tribal wars. The, the forest was called Muzeire, Muzeire Otakwa. Once you are there, nobody can, can access you. Uh -huh. Now, these are the forests. These are the swamps. But people don't listen. Now, globally, the Europeans, because of greed, they are the ones who have been pushing all these uh, fuel. You know, fuel, this fuel was introduced one century ago. And when the Europeans came here, they brought it. <laughs> fuel, fuel, petrol. Mm. In Tunga, my aunt, my aunt would go to the trading center. And she would come back holding her nose that she, <laughs> that she has smelt fuel, fuel that it has, the, the way she was calling it. I don't want to tell you what. <laughs> But we are told, no, 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 this is modern, this is modern. Now, Kumbe, this what they call modern, is poison. This petrol, which we are saying, please get away, which you are telling us to subsidize, is actually poison. And it is the one making, bringing a bad gas in the atmosphere, which is increasing the, the temperature of the world. Europeans are burning. Maybe you can show us those, what's happened to the Europeans. Show us what's happening. Ah, ah, there, there, you have got your Europeans. You like Europeans, so there, there you are. I have brought them for you. Ah, you see what's happening? Ha, ah, and they say, so, they speak in their American English. Wow, 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 That's what is happening there. That's what is happening. wilderness interfaces making them super vulnerable so the only thing that can be done is to fortify those communities uh, new zoning laws new maybe construction guidelines and really educating the public about clearing brush around the house trying to get fireproof gutters on the house and and trying to prevent them best you can but at this point there's so much fuel out there whether it's lightning or whether it's sparks from a flat tire or, or grill embers um, they're just gonna happen more frequently unfortunately Tonight, the United States is in the midst of an extreme weather nightmare with record heat, fires, and severe flooding. Brian Todd is working the story for us, Brian. Every region of the country seems to be affected, at least in some way. Right, Wolf, just about every corner of the lower 48. On one extreme, federal officials say there are 40 active large wildfires that have burned more than a million acres in six states. On the other, historical rainfall and snow melting are dealing a crippling blow to an iconic landmark. A large house crumbles into the surging Yellowstone River and washes downstream. That is insane. The town of Gardner, Montana, where that house was, has been left isolated, surrounded by water, according to officials, with swift water rescues taking place. Heavy rain and melting snow caused catastrophic flooding in Yellowstone National Park, which had to be evacuated. Roads and bridges washed away. So, that's Nanta Wurirwa, Yasawara Nabwa Bumba. The one who cannot be advised was told that, please, clay cannot make a boat. But he didn't listen. He went and got clay and made a boat. And when he put it in the water, when he had just got a some, some 40 meters away from the, the bank, he, 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 he drowned. And, and, and with the bagand of, of Rukora, we got, we got uh, a proverb out of it. 
Nti nanta budirwa. Ya sabana na bwa bumba. Now the environment we have been telling you this is very pleased. Unfortunately, leaders who are, who are real enemies of their people, they tell them, no, don't worry. You see people going into danger because you want them to vote for you by deceit, you let them stay in danger. Now, you have seen what has happened in so many places, including recently in Mbari. So the cabinet is going to meet on Monday. We have already, of course, discussed it. Uh, first of all, I express condolences, condolences again to the people of Mbari, to the people of Kapchorwa. Uh, I sent some little support to the families, which, which, which was taken by Mire Babaranda. Uh, I will also send some, something small for the, those who are injured. I had not got the figure clear, but I have now got it. Now, for the displaced, the Prime Minister's office is taking relief and will take support. But more importantly, we must this time listen to the NRM advice, which we have been giving you from the very beginning. When we came in, in 1986, Mabira had been encroached on. Idi Amin had told people that uh, uh, you go to the forest, forest has no value. Go and grow sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are more important than, than trees. And, and people had invaded uh, Mavira Forest. When we came, we chased them. They left. But now, because we are busy fighting wars on the Sudan border, on the Congo border, uh, coin, this, all these d d destructions, people now started invading the forest, invading the wetlands. So we are going to have a meeting in, uh, next Monday in the, and come out with a, a comprehensive plan to really make sure that we respect the environment. God, you, you have seen there the, the, the temperatures. Some of the areas have got 40 degrees centigrade, some 45 degrees centigrade in Europe in Spain, in Portugal, in England, in France, in uh, some, some parts of Germany, in the United States, they are roasting. Here, I think the, 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 the temperature is always 20 something, 20 something. Uh, at night it is very cold, it is uh, uh, much colder. We are still lucky because we, we are uh, we, we are a highland, we, we, we are a plateau. So please, let's save ourselves. We have got everything here. The one who is talking to you, I, I, I have land. It's not that I'm talking to you about things I don't know. It, where I have land, you will find that I respect all the environment there. If you go to Ntungamo, where I was born, where my daughter is now doing some work, you will find the, the Rufunjo there, the papyrus swamp of, of, of uh, Chamate, Katinda, Chamugash, it is there. Nobody can touch it. It is sacrilege. That, that Rufunjo, what they call Ichitogo in Uganda, the papyrus swamp, it was put there by God. Who am I to, 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 to interfere with it? I should use it the way it is. I can take water from there and use it, irrigation, but the swamp must remain. I can, ta I can cut the papyrus and use it for something. It will grow again. God is really planned everything for us. In other swamps, you find Ebugugu. Ebugugu, uh, I think even here I have had places called Narugugu or something like that. I, I, I think in, in Uganda they, they also know Ebugugu. These are the, the swamp for the grass. The, 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 the grass for the swamp. The grass for the swamp. It is called Ebugugu. The scientific name is uh, Cyper Cyperum latifolia. These are planned by God. You cut, 
you mulch the garden, it grows again. So really, people to interfere with this is, 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 is a crime against God. It's not a crime against the, the law, republic. No, no, no. Against God. Because God is the one who made all this, all this arrangement for us. Everything is very easy. The other day, I went to Bushenyi, uh, where we were supporting people. Now, one of the proposals, Sebo, Utese Sente, to Grepi Kapu, to Zekugura, Ebugugu, Bioko Arum Musiri. That I should give them, uh, I think, a half truck or something like that, to go and Kusaka, to, 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 to import. Uh, grass for mulching their garden because when we do modern farming you need mulching I said what happened to the swamp near here they had uprooted it they now want money to go and, and, uh, and, and have some, somebody to have a contract a contract to supply a gugu from 30 miles away what happened to in Angkore every valley has got a swamp you have a hill like this on the other side, you, you, you have got a, 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 a swamp. We, we, if it is seasonal, it will have a gugu there. If it is permanent, it will have papyrus. This is how God had arranged the whole place. Now you destroy that, then you start running around that you want vehicles to, 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 to import uh, Cyperam Latifolia from 30 miles away. This is not uh, acceptable. So I'm very sorry what happened in Mbari. But we, we, had lo, we had long predicted this, and please wait for our plan. And this time, we don't want any games. Everybody will have to fall in line, and we respect what God arranged for us, and use it the way God wanted us to use it. Sustainably, don't interfere with it, but you, you, you use it. It is a cow which gives milk. You milk, you feed the cow. Tomorrow you, you milk again. I thank you and I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Or oh, maybe Nankabiro can, can summarize for us in some. Can, can you put in some Funza Funza? Murumi Umu. We were in your civil uh, president. Um, Kangezeko Funza Funza, the president here turned Senok to Lamsako, it ran out to Jukizanti, a Liwano, a week a wet day, Nga, a Romula Maguli could be ye being two, a ye calamie, a Nakuzino. In Songazili Bidi, they are to Gamba Kolo, Yataka Kacham of Tokulinia, Nina Takakone Chia Covid nineteen, a CBNC. Aten si ya guru wa oma angu, ni tuwe ranga Oweta avuwebuli Na yenga ate abako lebi ntubi yetuwe taga Tebasobola kukola ku, 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 kusinzira ku speed yebi yeta agibyo Ni uru wale reda azemu na katiliza ensonga E ya mafuta Kubanga amafuta gwe msayo kutambuza Ebi enfuna bie guanga Necho kubidi Ensonga yebi ntubi yetugule ebuelu Gatubi gula musente nzungu Eza dola Ebi ntunga ebi jimusa Ebi ntunga ebi nazimu etukola buto Iranga batuguli dewa na otisa asanya Milioni za dola ebi kumi bisatu Kumpi uh, Boziza musente za Uganda Buli obu umbi obu suka orukumi Ngatugula just evi intu e, e, Ngatugula buto Atego tusovola ukujia mubinazi Singatu vye eri midde Evi intu evi lala Evi ama guzi vya tusovole Vue runge ngano Nina atubulinante ngano Katiegenze kako wansi Ilana atubulinante ngano Ya alaba kululu enti tuine evi intu Evi afe wano vya tusovola ukulia Netuwe wale ngano Ngabu watu gambo kulia mwogo, abantu wabambalo zanti, obaba atu jereze na yenga ate mwogo, kwetu haku lida atenga mwogo talina na bulabe bulalo voli yao uinzo kufamungano, e inzo kufanga, e tuluwa zani nduwa deze tutamanyi, 
kuwafi wano muafrika tetuwa kulida kungano tulina akalo kitusobolo kujamu obu, obu uji obu okola mwemele so ingano na yonge ili waguru orokuwa orutaro finalo tumanyo obulu njikati ila tulaba ku tv otaulu wa russia na ye amafuta tuino kutegira egwa ensio na ya sala wo ila mnyaka abidi ejidja amafuta gana aga petroli aga fumula omuka oguko sobu tonde buensi ogubika akabubi waguru wawe bugu muneriba angateli furuma ensi ne ekolero omulido ni mula vange mitiji ekoleza joka orwa temperature we bugu mwedene erinje nyo erimami demu nseze zebu erufuano katonda ya tubika kaka suibu ya tukola ya tutela wo ebye bisobolo kuma embera ya fewano ngatoko ze zabi ujo nobe range emisana emi simulilo atechilo simpe wonyinji Niwe mula bebi genda masi ibuiru, uh, amafuta chechimuku bintu, ibi tulete de ebugu mli no kubanti, tericha afuru maburu njoro, waka bubi yako, akali waguru, akako sedua. Soka akati, femu Uganda tulimuaba abata andika okudivoping amafuta gafi. Era musawa wene yaka ungezi, achise kuba, nti Uganda jakuli yaka mkulu onge mbuzikeri uwe gulu. Ili ya mangu, 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 mangu. Fetuja kubana HCL wecho kwe sima, anga tukoze, ama futagafi. Kubanga wali wera, evi nitu evi joku gena maso, nga bieta agisibwa, nga viva mafuta. So tuke na maso, noku, noku, uh, noku vumbula ama futagafi, mbili ya bili muetano, tuke na kulaba ama tondo ga ama futanga, tuga jamutaka. Uh, Mzee yera tuga ambienti, uh, ebya ebya mafuta bino bileta okuserebwa mbintu ebiralanga amatoke era na gamba anti abatu abagula amatoke obusere te mumune nyanga ye ne mama bali mama amatoke ne batunda amatoke na ye entambuza yago bwebanga elinyo lwa mafuta okulinya na abagatika abatika amatoke nabo bajja kuongeza buli kintu kijja kubanga cheyongeza Uluku bama futagali nye. Kati toke na lio liye yongede. Netambuza yevi. Ntuobu mmonde okuwe kabali. Nebi ama guzebi dala. Gabiri etebwa mbibuga. Na yeda na biyo biba bilinya. Mzee hatu gami etebi obu fuzi. Kubanga avute mawe ganga atulabula. Iranga atubuli la kubina jamazo. Na yaba mwe biyo obu fuzi baloza. Bia kusaga. Ibi obu fuzi. Sibi ya kusaga. Buokola okusala woku chamu. Uinzo kuzanyira kula mbu abantu. Bukola decision ye ntufu. Woku sala woku tufu. Woboja kutasa abantu. Kati yeze nga tujukiza. Bwebagi na monsiku. Bako maona nsonga sema songa chi. Nsonga kumi sema songa. Kubasa la wawa banunuzo kutambuli. Na nenge nsonga yoku tano. Basa la woku teka teka. Ebi enfuna ebi yunga gana. Ebi sobola okwe imirizao. Nebi tase guanga lino. Iye nsonga sema songa Iyo kutano Ida ya gama ati Atugambi enti Mubisera biya mefuga Wali uo ebi ntubisatu Bibate kakesira Okufuna mwe simbi Nge muanyi Pamba Ne kopa Kopa tumutegira Uo nizo mwe ite chikomo Ebi ebi ntubisatu Ne wabela uo nebi lala Nga amajani Nga taba Nebi obula ambuzi. Ngavite kakesida. Nyeka kati okuvoro bogele agena nya no mulembe gunoguliko. Tuwa gazi ya listi yeyo. Fwene tulabanti neka soli. Buomu teka kakesida. No muja mwaka unga. Atebi lala nibiko le mele yevi solo. Ne mele yevi koko. Awerobo utasize guanga. Waluwe bintu evi lala biyo inzera. Okuteka ko bitutadeko value. Biatu bulide. Ebi ebi nyanja, ukubanti tetuli ya buline yetu kola mufile tinetu, netu tunde ebuweru, ebi ya, e, 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 ebi bala, atukole dechivalo na atulaga engazi ya jetu wagazi ya mu, okuwa kubili, emwanyi, ze batu simbi sanga, batu kubana chivoko, pamba, kakati bulichintu wano, chiso bolo okuwa musinga, tugatako value. Atubuli denti, Nga kati aba, aba, aba sogolo umuengi. Zitata wange yalina license. Nguli distira. 
nga license ajija luzira nga alima a a embide yikanga 10 nenga atai nane sogolero wa sogolera nga mama ye ye kwata muwemba okugusa okugusi kana okugusa ne bateka ko muwemba ne babika ne bayisa na ya teranga alinane wafumbira enguli mu mapipa na sengeja na afune mandule na afugo mwengo ogo na agulete luzina ni bakula yuganda wala oyu yali wa enare mudara dara aha yali msajja kaona wosebo yali wana murutari yebama na yenga buotunu ulirao ngate ya singa abantu okubane sent ngabalabamu guzobu vide umlala nale tomu wemba so kakati tutunulemu mbera ya feo wansi echivalecho Atunda ama vide, ngatema na gata ama vide. Okole nkote mwe ama vide. Ogata ama vide, nkote angasatu. Obanya, ogumle ngo. Nibaku wamu, siringize nkumisatu. Na yu mtu wa sogote, na isa, na fumba. Atugambi tukole chivalecho. Na yenze katichino nchimanyi kubanga na chila bako. Omtu wa yafuna sente nyingi, okusingono, aleje sembide. So okugatta ko value kujja kutununula okuva mu kusaka ngennambe ennyinge eri eyokutano eyokutekawo ebyenfuna ebyeyimirizawo nga te biyungagana kijja kutununula ate we tuchikoze ko kimaze okutunula okutununula nge nge chamata nge chapamba so if we can okugazia ne tweka ne mwanyi ne bilala eh Yes, kati echo tuchira vieko, tuera tula vieko wano nekuru timbe, batula ze uh, uh, evina zi, uh, vieko tutandise okulaba nti vike ndeza ensasanya ya fe. Sente ze tusasanya okugule evi nitu evi. So kati tulino okuva mukusaka. Kubanga mukusaka, bambi gwe owayo sente ze nganda, okugule evi nitu okubi ingiza mguanga. Kakati ndo mkasera kano, esente ye nganda, eri wansi nyo. Uino kufune esente ze za Uganda nyingi nyo, okusobolo oku, okuweza enzungu, ezina ingi za mwono mwanga, evi nituwebe vye tuetaga. So, edagala, eri okutu jamu katuka no ketulina. Tulina kuko, kukendeza, Okuja kwa wechita sobo kira. Kukende eleza dalo kusaka. Katinge cha mafuta wabadewo. Abagamba presidenti. Nti ata dire sente. Azijia walala. Atuongere reze kofi. Abagula mafuta abaga kuzesa. Wogende kupetro station. Yogula mafuta lita. Ojigule nkumi bili. Oba nkumi satu. Na yenga ni reality. Yi, li, lite yoyali wade gula kakaga. Chitegeza presidenti. Ajie sente awalala. Ateke we mbele yogwe kulo wazesa. Tia mafuta siga bei. Na yeze senta agenda zijawa. Chitegeza. chitegeza Aitha agenda kuteka kwa msolo. Kubintuwe bila la. Asopuro kufuna sentezo. Ova. Okuyimiriza programs. Ngo kulime ngudo. Tusopuro kulaba anti. Amafuta guga kuze kunkumi satu. Songa ate. Ensiyo na yona mafuta gali nye. Gali wagulo kusinge kumi satu. Kati na hatu somere nkalala ze ngudo. Na ye mungudo mumba de munze zi nkwa atila kodala dala. Oku imi lizo kola. Oku tuda vilizo lugudo luabu sunju. Chivoga hoi manga. Tumanyiburunji. Tie hoi makateri. Yo trucks nyingi. Ebi moto kavinji. Ebi tuwala. Ebi koze sebwa. Umu, e, hoi meyo mumafuta. Autuba tuja kubanga. Tuwefu misemu chifuba. Urugudo luafuruwa. Oru tuyunga. Kufaktoreze kapeka. Oruguka wachituma. Ngechipoga bantu bata andiso kuni emiembe. Me, me, Tulo waza tugenda kutuwala. Ikapeka mfaktore. Botu imirize ngudo buwezi tiyo. Ne ngudo. Nyingi buli katundu ka Uganda. Eri orugudo. Aitha luko lebu anga lupia. Obo kudabilizo lorukadoru wadeyo. Soka kati enare mbuyone igamba. Nti subside. Oba okuteka wachiguma azoyo. Ntia mafuta tuwenga tuge na nitugagula kusente entono. 
songa ate tuyimiriza programs za teles ja kubanga zitulete sente icho inare mtejja kitambulira ko inare mwe gamba tulekerawo okusaka tuli me binazi ebinazi tubigeze seza bikola tuteke ko mutindo kunteze tulunda amata getufuna tuleme kutunda matabuta tukole yogurt tukole cheese tukole ebyo bitusobola okutunda ne kumirirano ebita ebita vunda mangu bwe bwa bakasoli wali we kisera ngane kasunaka tukajja Kenya kakati twagala obuwunga obukubiddwa wano era government efubye okugabange yita mu operation wealth creation program we yabo nabagagga wale obumo obo obugabibwa tuli mu kawe fube kati okulabanga tuteka ya masanyalazi kubanga generator atete zijja kukola kibalo bulunji ebikajjo ebikajjo tusobola okufuna sukali ni hata sovola na kufuna mama sanjala zenebi nitu ebidala. E bumba, tu sovola okulisima. Ni tutako makuku, kukukola mu pot sizo, kanene tufuna ne obu butegula, obu, obu, obu sereka. So, ebyo byo na, kati ngane echi dali echa, echa gold. Uganda mchimanyulu nyitia ina gold. Tulina kati amalo ngo sezo ga gold muenda tutulongo tu, tu sa gold ni tutunda gold yo ya awede yes inga zabu 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 mm. ni tutunda zabu singa tufuna ama kole rataga sobolo okola zabu oyo negamu kola mu binu vye tuamba la mbulagu ni tuta, ni tuta saka bintu bino ni tubifuna wano atela tuja kubanga tufuna mu nyonyo soka ti okugatako omutindo kwe kujja okusobozesa okulekerawo okusaka kubanga okusaka kuli kubusere ugenda yo ne sente ze nganda nga nnyingi nnyo 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 ne ebi ofuna mu musente nzungu biba bitono ekijjo tujja mu kusaka ekirala tutunulire okukola ebidduka ebyamasanyalaze emmotoka ezamasanyalaze ku mulundi guli batulaga kayola Kumurundi guno, tuzene Mr. Metu Katabazi, aina company jetandi kabili kumina musamvu, president ya jigula uo, bale etamu Uganda, emitueje jialole, emitueje moto kwa webi fuba, nebaga tako mutindo, emoto kaneba angekole doa wanebitundu watano kuchikumi, chema nyiti elau tubakale kare kukusinga oku ingiza, basi zuwele deda lokolewa. Elige bazi kolera teri muana wa Uganda aliyo. Chomu wadu omrimu. Nye metu katabazi wabanga kolera wane moto kezo. Yivitundu atano kuchikumi. Aba wadu abana bafemirimu. Ata aba tuonye za kuna fukusaka. Yivitundu atano kuchikumi. Ilali na plani okugazia. Moto kezo ziko lebwa azitula ze wano. Zita ambula. Tuziko ze sa. Ministry ya health and ministry zendala prison zi. Azitula ze wane moto kezo nga zita ambula. So metu tumweba za, ila president ya msuwi za, nti chari wa dechiru unji, fenga mgovermenti ni tuba angafeka tarika waka sose. Au tuba tuyamba ganye. Chema nyiti wa ministers tuulide, ila tukenda kora, echi soboka. Kakati, nga tumaze, echi echia, uh, e, moto kezama sanyalaze, uh, ne pichi pichi, Batu bali demunti nepichi pichi. Oinzo kubango ujiraba ya abusere gula milioni musamvu. Na yate pichi piche ye wangala nyo. Miaka kumi. Okusinga zine pichi piche ndale zikole duwe buwe runga tezima njina ambela ya fe wano. Eno yyo ya masanyala zikole duwe wano. E jakubanga epimidua kumbela za fe. E visiriko, ensozi. Nengeri jetuwe tikamu. Abantu ne mpakira abantu basatu kupichi pichi. Techikiri zi wanae mchikole yyo. So pichi pichi zineza masanyala zizikole duwa wano. Uinzo kulaba nti milio ni musamvu nyingi. Na yate e bangali ayo. Nenyua yayo. Pichi pichi ene dale ya mafuta wenyuera. Omtualo gumwe nkumi satu. Eno yyo pichi pichi mkilomita mu, mu ansamvu. Elie nyua omtualo gumwe nkumi satu. Ine jaku vange nyua wakati wa nkumi nya. Uwe nkumi tano. 
kati ya uchibalida nti uvoke kerezama ama futa. Yate nechilala, omuka guli, ogwono nobu tonde mwensi, chitu kakata kofena, Uganda, nesendala, okende ele za dale chintu chona chone chivwa mugu omuka. President kuwa gambi, nti sister we ya komanga we kanga, akute nyendo, nti moto ka zimufumo li domuka. Ate ne, ne, no omuko, guvam petroli, baamu tisiva kubu sivite, yali wafe wano. So tuwa hitu koze some methods owe nkole yafe, na yeo petroli, nebamu leta, petroli alimuobu tuwa, mubiadala, akosa obula mbafe. So mwami metu tumu yoza yoza, ne uh, omkulu omlala, uh, kola uh, pichi pichi, fenga ministry ya energy. University of... Professor Amega. International University of East Africa. Alimu University of East Africa, Professor Oyo, akola neba ne, Mr. Hassan, be, ba, batubuli denti, bali nevi kanga atano, uh, ebya e, pichipiche evi kakasidua, nafe mu ministry, e ya energy, tumazo kola gana ne uh, uh, charging station, over, kuanga masanyalazi, ilinga simu, pichipiche ujaji tuwala, uwebaji charging ila tuwa maze okola gana ni charger, wana charger ingira uwebu sega, tugeenda kuchito ongoza, haba antuwa manye tujana kufuna mubibuga mu, mu evi enja uro charging stations, wawe tuna charger ingira anga, ama pichipichago na yenga mubiyo na tulino kutambula nensi tulina okoze sebi nitu evi ama sanyalaze, obo yagala, obato yagala Soka hakati tulina kwe jamu e, e ndo woze yo. So, um, mkukola masanyalaze, e gari yomuka. E gari yomuka minister tutegezeza, ingeri jeba jitese tese mwela tuine suvi. E gari yomuka, e tambuza evi ya maguzi kusente ntone, e tambuza na abantu. Omuntu wa sasulida, e nkumi nya mutaksi. Bobo tambuli demu gali ya muka. Mustuwe cheno kufa kampala kutuka uba na mafi. Bobo jia kusasua singri ukumi. Ni hata nechila lo jia kutuka mangu. Kumanga ba na Uganda ba ine moto kaza abwe. Ila jamu wabiranga jamu. Omwana alina e, moto ke mtuwala kusomero no mchala aline mtuwala uh, okola no mwami alina. So jamu wabira mungi na ye gali ya muka. Ministu ya fea works ili muka wefubo kulabanga. Tulongo senta ambula. Ni ntambuza ye migugu na abantu. Ija kubange kende didala. Awe tu sesira kugali omuka. Tuba tukendeze za. Omuko gwandi vude mutrakse nyingi. Oba mutakse nyingi. Necho kubidi. Tuba iraba na Uganda. Tuba kendeze za kusenteze basa sura. Nga, nga bata ambulite mugali omuka. Kakati ne minister. Uh, Owebi obulimi. Wango vude bugenze mzee yonsasile evi mumbi buse. Minister owebi obuli minayatu vuli de enteka teka na mtaika. E gendo kole wukulaba anti Uganda elinea emere mubuli chieya, mubuli season ya obama mubuli, mubuli, mubuli bude. Eranga tugenda kuonge rako kubali misa umukono mukono mukono kakumbi. Kakati tuwa galo kutagetinga, abantu wabali netaka edeneko, institutions zina, mataka anga, prison z, uh, uh, UPDF, uh, ababali netake ilinji, edene, tubayambe okubafu nilebi uma, tubayambe okuteka teka okufukirida, tubayambe ku fertilizer azoba ebiji musa. Tulina factory ya fe etororo. Yafuna mwobu zibu zibu na ye genda kuda mwoku kola. Ye genda kutukolera ebiji musa. Buobango okoze sa ensigo eyo mlembe. Tosobo la kwe wala kufukirira. Tosobo la kwe wala kukoze sa biji musa. Otherwise nebo ono bane ensigo enu njetia. Gatoko zebio bintu bibiri. Ila tojia kusobo la kufuna mw. Hybrid oba ensige nongo semo eyo mlembe. Ye genda no kufukirira. Atege na nefatalaiza, owe vijimusa. Atela tu ino kubaya amba, niku nimirawo, e nkuata ya avyo. Tus, tufiruwa evi tundu wana kuchikumi. Echokula vila kasoli. Nga ayono unikede munimiro. 
gatumu kutebubi. Ministro yebi obulimi, yegenda kuteka teka ama terekiru, silos. Tugenda kukuata gana, nabo abe sobola. Binotebija kubabi ya buwelele. Tujia kubanga tukuoze. Neye mnengo jia kusasulia miaka kumi. Ate interesti, oba ama goba, ila naguga jia kubaba matono. Kumi kuchikumi. Banka kati abantu abali mbiobu limibewo laku. Na yenga ama goba gozayo. Gali mkumi na muenda, abidi, omulimi abata chisobola. Na ye wano tujia kuwa necheba ita grace period, oba tujia kuwa ubudo kwete kateka, wano sasuli la bak, oba wano tudi ze sentezo. Kwa chitu wagalo ze sente. Tuwagalo ze sente, no mula lasobolo zifuna. Chino tulabienga chikola, kalanga la ebinazi, tulabienga abantube ya gala, liba agamba presidenti, ntikati abatunda amafuta agatado, babala vye kubate wali agagula. Abantu bafunye solar panels, Obama anjiga njuba, masanyalaze, na yenge ratu wabagamba anga, nga, baso ukoku guguba. Na yeka akati chetula vye kalangala, ministro yebio vlimi wano buatu huli lente katekeno na mtaika. Ntia amazi, agafukiri lebi evilime, na agama gana. Kuwange ente, ente oku, oku, oku kuo oblunji, ulino kujua evi ntubisatu. Ino kubana umudo, Ino kubana amazi, ino kubana idagala Ukujifu ila Awewe jakuwa Sente kateka ya ministro yevi obulimi Na obulunzi E jakutuwa Nga katio insigo yevi nyanja Kanji ite insigo na ye Kubanga Wanawali obu zibu zibu fingerlings Owe nyanja obu to Bwetu yuwa muzidamu za fe Nga tuli mkurunda yevi nyanja Na yevi jakubanga bitu webwa Soka akati, gwe tunakole nteka tekeyo, tuja kubanga tutegede, nti kumusimbi gwe tubadde tugaba, gwe tubadde tugabula mukusaka, zigena kukendera, chino si chiroto, tuchirabi yeko, mga chiko lera dala. Era president, uh, ayonge denatu bulira kubutonde buwensi, na agama katonda, gwe tuso mecho uluwedebedie katonda anga atonde nseno, Ya teka teka bulu unji. Na yaba mbalo uzanti. Ubaya lita tegeira. Buya gama anti ya ude. E amazi. Kurukalu. Kakati fe. Echo. Uluoku wanga nga minister. Buya gambi enti. Population yoba abantu wa fe mu Uganda wano. Bazala nyo. Ateta katerina lastika. Nti onola wanga. Jetuko mokuzala. Lulitu wali milioni. Abili mutano. Ukutemi ya noku zibula tu, tufu sana. Kakati tugena mu, muatano. Milio ni atano. Kwa kakati tutu usekumpi muana mutano. Na yeta kaliote lina lastika. Tino li, line yongera yo. Kati tuta de. Wukunyi girizo kukutaka. Kakati. Bwe tuta gobele de katonda. Chia tonde de nseno. Na ya ula. Na ya ule misana. Na ya ule chilu. Chichiraba antubeba kikubwe bati. Nekati abantubeba chivaka. Chota nchua chijia tu affecting Na ya ule entobazi Na za ula Na ya ula amazi Na ya ula urukalu Kati abantu balu umbie urukalu Balu umbie entobazi Balu umbie evisalu Balu umbie evitogo Batema Echono chijia kutule terobu zivu Balu umbie nsozi Bali mie wagulu mwonsozi Bate mie miti Tuoke za amanda Enso zisigadete kuliko wa domu dogu ziviseko tuoke ze mpira Enkube etonye Ama inja gali ringiseyo gatu zise Nge chaba dembali President akuba gizanyo ama afiridua Na yenga chino cha kwenye Kubanga tuwali bade tuchi Tuchie wala Kubanga president ya zaachi ogirako Ni yaba ntuwa feba afiride mataba President ya tode Ngero mtu wakuba giza Ero kula ganti anyore doa muna mwe Na uwa ye nsindi Na ye saba minister Aliku ground Aliku a, timu ye ya jira gira Mbigambe vye mere Minister webe obula mwoku Lanti abantivalu wala korela Kubanga Ibintu yonabi ye tabula Kazambi ye na ye tabula Abantu wagenda kuruwala Minister wa mazi alieyo Okulaba anti amazi agali ga, uh, gabuze Minister wengudo Okwerula engudeza alizivikidua 
era no kukola assessment obo kulaba e, a bridges oba entindo ezayo noneka tugenda kukola tugenda kukola wo awana itibwa kubanga ebimu bijja kweta agisensimbi na yo kudukira nga bwe mukumanyi tuteka wecho isobolo tujja mukati abagako mu kisere ekimpi so chana kunyo nti tuchi ayogera fo wano mu Uganda ku bantu okubikibwe ettaka ku bantu okutwalibwa mukoka ngate kijja tulaba tuli na yogera ku kijja ne barora tujja tulaba na ye era president ayogedde ko ku bana byabufuzi oluwo bululu abakwati bwensonyi okubulira abantu babo ababalonda amazima nti wano muvewo embera mbi tukwati bwensonyi okubabulira oluwaka lulu neka kati abagenda okutulonda bwe bana azikibwe ettaka bani abana atulonda nolocho tuleme kwati bwansonyi okubulira abantu ebitufu tubabulire embera eyononese tulino okuva mu ntobazi tulino okulekera okutema emiti e, e bibiranga bwe ba bajjajja fwe bwe ba bilabanga ne babiwana amanya mara magambo ntinze ebigambo bimbuze kino kimpitiriddeko ekibira kinene kino ekibira mwe uh, bwogenda yo todda kakati bwotunula ebibira ebimu wano kungulu olabanga katen boyingira eri munda nga bantu bali myeyo nga bantu bate myeyo fenanga tutunulira nga tutunula so bakulembeze banange president atukubiriza nti tu, tukole ekye kitufu politics si wa bigambo si wa kulimba limba politics wa kuogera mazima no kutasa abantu bo kulembera mze ingeze zako okuumba umba olwobudde simanyo ba wali wo chende seyo chewandi etaze mbulira abantu okoze bulunjo okoze pyo alo uh, ngaba narukola bwe bakola okoze bulunji eri rakai wali nyanja na wuri abajita kijana barora yes weri yes sir kija ichigambo cha runyoro mm. kubanga edda kochi ari wa munabo na bunyoro kija mm. ni barora ikizubu cyajya abantu balaba ne batafayo ne ne kibarete televiziyo mm. ate Urugero wa ferum rukora rwandu bale rutuyamba urugamba nti kijomanyi kinyaga kinyaga bitono naye kati kubanga ku obujemu kijomanyi kinyagira dara so the the, the the lake the lake in raka is called kijanabarora the, the, that a problem came when people were looking, were seeing it, but they did nothing. So, uh, Honorable Nankabro has translated well. I think let's end here. Uh, we shall, on the environment, we are going to give out a detailed plan next week, which will guide us after the uh, cabinet meeting on Monday. I thank everybody and wish you good luck. Thank you, Your Excellency.
The Oil and Gas Moment, brought to you by Petroleum Authority of Uganda, creating lasting value in Uganda's oil journey. The oil and gas activities in Uganda are expected to create about 160,000 new jobs. Close to 70% of these jobs will require. The Oil and Gas Moment, brought to you by Petroleum Authority of Uganda, creating lasting value in Uganda's oil journey. The oil and gas activities in Uganda are expected to create about 160,000 new jobs. Close to 70% of these jobs will require. It's Freaky Friday from Airtel. Buy or gift. Buy or give. Get freaky too. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to load a Freaky Friday bundle for you to enjoy the best offers on voice and data. To buy a bundle for friends and family, dial star 149 star 10 star 5 hash. Freaky Friday with Airtel. Buy or gift a bundle today. Dial star 149 star 10 hash to get started. Airtel, the smartphone network. At Timex Nutrition Center, we advise you on the right foods to eat, exercise profile to adopt, and lifestyle strategies which are compatible to your blood group and genotype. This empowers your body to prevent and treat many diseases like diabetes, blood pressure, arthritis, ulcers, obesity, and many others. For more information, find us at our head office in Kampala on Nasa Road, Conrad Plaza, second floor, or call 0758-819-952 or 0778-288-361. We also have other branches in Bara and Jinja. The Oil and Gas Moment, brought to you by Petroleum Authority of Uganda, creating lasting value in Uganda's oil journey. The oil and gas activities in Uganda are expected to create about 160,000 new jobs. Close to 70% of these jobs will require. Express it. Little my tamla kilometers is a mobility. This is coming up in Mutano. Gears a tano. USB charger. And a self starter. A set to love it over kilogram of baby. You will get your Korea dollar. You will tank a jamulit as a Kumina Satori customer. I'm going to chill out. Little your engine oil. Little my mafuta. Elementi. Jacket. Reflector. No warranty. Yamaka Mulamba. Possilania Gurugodo. No PGBG. Joe. To go send the Gilamakanika Naku Yambako. Service. Yeah. Where they don't send you a Kamoja Masuga Kobil. They have a TV center. That's a city. Corporate Games Season 2022-2023 is here. Don't miss lots of fun and networking. 12 sports disciplines and over 2,000 participants with over 40 corporate companies in one place. This happens every first Sunday of every month. For more information, contact info at corporategamesug.com or visit our website www.corporategamesug.com or you can call us on 0700-339-048 or 0785-642-953. Don't miss on Sunday, 7th August of 2022 at Chambogo University. The Corporate Games, inspiring corporates through sports. I remember the lockdown. When the streets were empty and our lives disrupted. When businesses closed and our livelihoods hung in the balance. Hospitals were full. 
we lost loved ones jobs and hope our children couldn't study anymore we cannot let this happen okay we should not go back get fully vaccinated against covid-19 and join the millions of ugandans who are already vaccinated We bring you a fresh, well-researched program to help you identify opportunities for investment, job creation, growing your entrepreneurial skills, wealth creation, and social transformation. Create wealth, transform livelihoods. Every week, we showcase opportunities for creating new products and services. Excellence in innovation, the passion and drive to succeed, and the right mindset to grow your business. Create wealth, transform livelihoods. Brought to you by Operation. Children are a special gift, one we must protect and nurture with care. Ensuring your child has a birth certificate opens doors for them that would otherwise be hard to access, such as immunization, school admission, or simply proving their age and belonging. Let us do our duty as parents and guardians by registering our children and getting them birth certificates. For more information, visit the NERA office closest to you or call the toll-free number 0800-211-700. This message is brought to you by NERA.